Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> How nice, you doing? Nice to meet you. Same here. Same here. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? We're good. doing good. We're doing awesome. good. Awesome. How about you? Great. Taking one day at a time. <laughs> How's Houston? Houston is great. It's it's kind of stormy today. So oh, but it's good. The weather is really stormy. nicer. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, good, yeah. good. It's good to see you both. It's hot here. Jesus. Hey, oh, really? Where are you guys? We're in New, New Jersey. Jersey. Oh, really? It's hot? Okay, good. Because last yeah. week I heard it was really cold. Yeah, for a day. Mm, it it's long to wait so hot. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, well, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for joining Thanks us. Thanks for joining us. We're yeah. going to have some fun today. We're talking about sex today. Just uh, a quick uh, announcement. This is the last time we will be on Instagram. Instagram is not showing us love. We yeah. have 15,000 followers on here, and we're probably going to end up with top 10 people hanging out with us because they will not announce to right. the followers. So we do have a tighter and more consolidated followership on Facebook and YouTube. So right. just letting you guys know, starting next week, we'll be... Hanging out over there. We will announce that's, here. That's always we'll... been my problem with Instagram. I don't do Instagram myself. It's like, yeah. wow. It's I never really it's... felt the love on here. So, and I've built yeah. my followership on Facebook for since 2016. Is it better for you over there? It's, it's way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we will definitely be moving our load over there. Mm -hmm. And we will just use this as announcement. <laughs> you know, but... I mean, they, they say that, you know, Instagram is better. It's a new thing. But I think it, what Instagram is good for it's really different you know you yes. just have to know hey hey fam I see them coming in you have to know your crowd you know? yes yes and absolutely want, yeah our, our, this kind of crowd you probably would get them better on facebook on. yes yes absolutely yeah. Yeah. all right so um so we have uh without any further ado she's going to tell us more about herself we do have uh miss shell i'll be your pastor Annie. okay no please. <laughs> <laughs> i don't want i don't want any labels no we're not doing that <laughs> <laughs> we have a uh, with no 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 offense or no disrespect um, right. no disrespect i mean to to the anointing whatever but i i don't do that. but you're good you have your own special calling yes somebody <laughs> just called you mommy geo but um yeah go ahead and do that yeah so so definitely without any further ado we have this uh show about about jolu right yes Okay, and that's a name, Yoruba name, correct? Uh, what about the Yoruba name? Okay, okay. The Yoruba name. Uh, because sometimes, you know, the Benin name, the sounding... I know, it sounds a lot like Benin. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, so today we're... Alone. <laughs> what did you say? anointing is for something else. I don't know what she means by that. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, anointing. Ah, uh, anointing, yo. You know, there's a special anointing over your life. There's a lot of people struggling with this topic. Yes, absolutely. So we 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 definitely uh we, we're gonna grow you a little bit today, and the the purpose of the questions we have is to help a lot of people be liberated. Yes. Absolutely. So that um uh, so that they can finally see the blessings in what God has created. Right. You know. So the topic is um, let me see. Uh, let's talk about sex. Talk about sex. Yeah. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. So if you have any questions right about now, you can start dropping them. Uh and then we will address them as we get to it. We will paint some of them as we get to right. to them. You know. Um now we do tend to over extend our schedule, but we'll okay. see how it goes. Right. Depending on how excited people get. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see some of my friends joining in already. Thank you. If you can please do me a favor and share it and just invite people to come on. I didn't get I enough time to go and give them a last minute sharing on Facebook, you know, but let's do it. Let's yes. do it. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. So, um, first of all, tell, can you tell us a little bit about yourself so that the audience, including our audience, of course, I'm, I'm trying to wave to everybody, but I'm not going to do that. You know. Right. right. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how we got here? How did we uh, get here? Mm -hmm. Well, um, Shobajula is somebody who started uh, pretty much conservative, if I might say. And, you know, um, I, and I found my voice. 
I found my voice and I found my passion. And um, it, it's, I say it a lot and I share it that I actually found my voice through pain. Um, mm-hmm. Something happened that kind of shook me and shook the bedrock of everything I believed in. And um, I had a choice at that time to, do I give up or do I keep going? And do I use this pain uh, to kind of help every other person? Because sometimes, now that I look back in hindsight, I'm like, maybe I actually went through everything I went through in readiness for what was ahead of me. So I actually uh, found my voice through that and I started to use my voice. Now, I started to talk about uncomfortable topics that people don't like to talk about. We come from a culture where we believe that things are supposed to be hush hush, don't talk about it, we're not supposed to share. But what happens is we keep having years and years of decay and we don't have a solution. Um, So that's where Sharing with Bajalu started and I I found that voice and I just started talking about those very uncomfortable topics. And it's not been easy. I've had a lot of, uh, you know, clapbacks. I've had a lot of, uh, you know, attacks expected. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, you don't you don't talk about uncomfortable topics and people who will smile. You know, I yeah. have a lot of followership. I mm-hmm. have a lot of people who are encouraging me also. But then at mm-hmm. the same time, I have people you know who just feel like, what is wrong with her? She's become westernized. She's now this and that. So right. yeah, that's that's it. So that's that's me. Okay. I uh, married eighteen years. I was married eighteen years. Okay. So and, are you saying you're not married right now? You're available right now? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> that's still a that's a topic that I have not yet come out with. Okay. But it's coming. Um, I have four daughters. Uh, uh-huh. to the glory of God, seventeen, fourteen. Oh my God, keep going. And eight and six. Wow. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you're blessed. You're blessed. You yes. know. Thank and you. uh, you know, you you definitely hit it on the head when you say um this is if it's not uncomfortable there's probably no growth in it right yes. if there's no pain there's probably no, no gain. gain no gain no gain absolutely you know? yeah so i mean look at everything that's going on in the world right now that's why uh, a lot of people are able to plug in because people are not going to work and you can know, you imagine that so but we're going to come out learning a lot you right. know yeah right. yeah well, this is my beautiful wife, Lola. Hi. Hi, Lola. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank well, you. are good looking, too. So you're a couple couple made, perfect match, right? Perfect. Oh, they want to know about oh, you, though. <laughs> you said perfect? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Uh, what do you think I was going to say? Uh, yeah. Well, so, uh, do you fashion sense with Lola and Lola? We'll, we'll, we'll try to, you know, we're the host here. We won't try to take the shine too much. Um, you know, the, the our guest is shown, so I'm sure that, that's probably somebody that came from your end, but we will, we'll, we'll, you will hear a little bit of our story in between. We'll show, but we just want to, want to learn because right. it's not, you know, we came across you on Dr. Shalas stuff last week Yes. and we learned that's a lot. Mentor. That's your mentor. All right. Yeah. No, so, she was speaking my language actually. <laughs> I, felt, I felt like you were talking, like we're sharing a brain. I love oh, it. God, I love it. Okay. I love it. So I, lo- I love you already. I love you already. <laughs> I love it. Yep. <laughs> I can relate to all the things you said. Right. Basically. Yeah. And I agree with you hundred <laughs> percent. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, and and don't get me wrong, we don't always have to agree. You know, it takes sometimes it takes a lot of uh research, a lot of growth to actually discover some things yeah. and know who you are and educate yourself in growth. Yeah. And unfortunately for people who have not educated themselves, mm. Yeah, again, it might be uncomfortable for them. Yes, yes, so, um, absolutely. Right. There are there are lots of uh, anger in the in the space of marriage. It's a lot of anger yes. uh, because people go through a lot of pain, you know. Uh, and anger is temporary insanity, you know. Um, and literally, it means that literally, you lose your mind for a second, and that one second can become years upon years of for most people, it's gonna be misery. So if you find yourself here today, find yourself lucky, we're, we'll talk about sex, but we have to talk about sex from a standpoint of uh, enjoying it and using it to improve the quality of- the marriage, of, of a healthy marriage. Of, of a healthy marriage, right? So, uh, you know, I, I pay attention to Dr. Shala. We talk on text message once in a while too. Okay. And, uh, you know, there's a, 
from the from the thread, right? Obviously, a lot of women, right? And lots of men who were not just relaxed to try to understand what is going on. Just, right. just start from what is going on. Clearly, something is, is not hard enough, right? Yep. And we went to where, just uh, if you want to learn more about us, you go to lolaandola.com. We put up uh, tons of articles and videos up there to help marriages and relationships. Uh, we went through our own pain. Mm -hmm. We lost it all. She filed for divorce, wow. but we're still together. That's the short story. So <laughs> if you want the whole thing, you can go download the book for free uh, on, on, on lolaandola.com. It's a full yeah. 200 pages book up there with some it. lessons, what we learned. But yeah, we're on the same page with you. The only way to learn things at this level is pain. That's the, yes. that's the, that's the way. And I see people say, uh, maybe premarital cancer, blah, blah, blah. In my opinion, Premarital counsel can only go so far because your brain uh, is going to be operating from. Uh, you can't you can't comprehend what <laughs> they are teaching you. <laughs> you know, you can't. So, so you actually get in there. Yes, yes. So let's just dump right into the first question and then we will take it from there. Yeah. The okay. Question. So, um, how many times do you think a couple, like a you know a healthy in a healthy marriage, how many times do you think a couple should have sex in a week? Oh my goodness, who's counting? <laughs> so, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Okay. And I'm not I'm gonna be I'm gonna try and be realistic, okay? Because I, I keep it real. Okay. Yeah. Um you're talking to somebody who was there at a point where I'm like, okay, I, I started noticing the niceness. You know how you, you men start to be nice during the daytime. I mm. know they're looking for something, right? Oh um, that's bribing for sex. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, and they start that on usual nice and I'm like, oh gosh, boy, I'm tired. So I would probably what I do then is I'll, I'll go, you know, he'll be in the bedroom. He would already take a shower, put on that cologne that smells so nice. I'm like, damn, dude, you know, and he'll be We're going in. <laughs> All right. He'll be looking in bed. I'm like, oh, snap, I'm not doing this. So I'll go in the bathroom and I'll wait and wait and wait, just hoping he'll fall asleep. But it never works because as soon as I hit that bed, the dude is up, like, you know. But here, here's what I'm saying that. I'm saying that to say. Yeah, before you continue, that what just came to my head is that that is so evil <laughs> that that is so evil you're waiting for me to fall asleep why no, do you not enjoy it I like really? <laughs> i'll explain where i'm coming from i'll explain where i'm coming from i'm explaining to say yeah nobody's counting but then realistically there are some times when you know situations you work too hard and you just don't feel like it man i enjoy sex orgasm is beautiful to bless it yeah but then i'm tired all i want to do is just go to sleep i'm not ready for all the i have to give it all because i give my all you understand what i mean it's not yeah. you know every, because it's a two-way thing so yes realistically things happen we have lives we go to work we're tired so there are times when you can't fill up to it but honestly nobody's counting if you guys fill up to it energy levels up situation are, you know permits it please i mean there should be nobody counting or taking numbers basically Okay. okay. You have a follow-up question? I do have a follow-up question. <laughs> now, now, since nobody is counting... I'm humanity to man. I'm sorry. You know. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Human humanity to man. Wow. Let, let, so, so since nobody is counting, right, how far into the past should that count if it hasn't happened in a while? Okay, yeah. So honestly, if you're going... A whole of two weeks and you guys have not made love or anything we, we need to start thinking okay you know this is going because once it extends past two weeks then you're looking at two two one month and then before yeah. you know it you start losing touch so, three months yeah exactly <laughs> i have family who've not had sex in seven months i really don't know jesus what that is. Yeah. wow mm -hmm. but of wow. course you will know that something is not right yes so absolutely. the conversation should be uh the conversation where you should know that something's not right should be about around two weeks yes max oh my god max, max. like someone like don't you said even one week she's already wondering you know but you oh. know, what's in the afternoon shop girl <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
because we also have to put into consideration that the woman might not be available during her monthly cycle, which yes. takes yes. up for like a whole week out of it. Yeah. Right. You know? So, you know, there are a couple of comments coming in here. What you're going to find is some comments we have to address. So that's, <laughs> some, that's some of the duties of Instagram, but I promise you we're going to make sure we have that also on the other side. So I told everyone earlier that we'll be meeting on Facebook, YouTube every week, not here at Instagram. We'll be announced, but just search Lola and Lola on Facebook and YouTube. You should find us easily. Um, so so Arunjiba Aaron Aaron buys here. He says, Women, Sha, our four, four, four mothers, no, they complain. No. Arunjiba, what do you have guy. to say to him? <laughs> Our four mothers know they complain, but did our four mothers really enjoy sex? I don't think they did. I don't think so That's deep. either. That's deep. Yeah. You're right, they, sir. Sex was a, an obligation or a it's duty. A duty. A duty, yes. They are to have kids. Mm. You know, we are the one. I mean, I, at one time, my mother, she was like, do you, do you ask your husband that you want to, you want sex? I'm like, yeah, mom, I have to. It sounded foreign to her that I would demand it. Hmm. That's oh, my mother says she won't journey. I was going to <laughs> You know, that was one of my questions. I was going to ask you, is it food? <laughs> Sex is food or work back. Uh, it's, it's soul food, you know? It's yeah. Not, it's, it's not physical food, but it's soul food. I, I totally have a disdain for that particular statement. I feel it's so old school. I feel it's actually right. lack of understanding when yes. a woman says, uh, when I hear a woman say, she own journey, that tells me a lot already. And really, honestly, you cannot blame a lot of, excuse me, I hate to generalize, but it's just what it is. You mm -hmm. can't blame, blame a lot of African women. Mm -hmm. We grew up from, with that, from at the culture where we're told that sex and anything related to sex is a sin. It's not something to talk about. It's, yes. Imagine how many women were circumcised by our mm -hmm. mothers. Again, no offense to the mothers, but they did it just to kind of cut down on, on immorality. Yes. Yes. You know, and not knowing that they were actually destroying a lot of women. Yes. So they, they did all of that to us, conditioned us to think, you know, sex is a sin. I mean, I I got this virgin at 17. I hated it. I did it more out of curiosity. I was raised in a Christian home. I was mm -hmm. raised in a home where my mother, you know, everybody believed. But did it actually stop me from doing It know, didn't stop you because no, did because you're because you're now because obviously curiosity killed the cat. Uh, exactly. the more they try to uh, take it away from you learning about it the more you want the forbidden fruit there we go yeah. yeah now did i enjoy it did i feel bad did i feel like it was a sin did i cry and now where where am i going with that when it's time for us to now get married because we have that space where everybody's saying no 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 to sex and then from nowhere everybody's asking you where's the husband like seriously you know i'm not mm. a, have a boyfriend but then okay. asking where my husband is mm -hmm. right so when we're about to get married nobody turns that thing back on and says hey dude girl you gotta enjoy sex you know mm -hmm. because yes. they probably didn't enjoy it yes yes, yes. yes. they absolutely uh, on an average no it's not that's not what it was also it's different times we have different uh moral compass moral yes. compass is not a matter of right and wrong <laughs> it's just what it is you know right. if people feel like it's okay now in 2020 and it's yes. not 1962. Yeah. And, and you, you're stuck in a marriage with another person. And then you are saying, no, our, our four mothers, you will be, in, you just be, find yourself in trouble all the time because there's yeah. still two people involved and you're not paying attention to the times. And there's a good chance that the other person is paying attention to the, to the times. Yes. And then you have a friction automatically right there. And yeah. a lot of times people can't still cannot talk about these things. So you have like an invisible enemy in your home. In your home, yes. You know? That's causing a lot of friction. Yes, um, yes. Before we, I know you probably have questions for me, but... Oh! No, tell, please, yeah, go for it, go this, for it. This is, um, someone might ask me, why did you start talking about sex? I started talking about sex on my page, on Facebook. I've always talked about uncomfortable topics, but then I started doing like a Wild Wednesday where I just go crazy. Again, I had people, even there's this guy in London, I won't mention names, he told he's a pastor or whatever. He comes at me like, hey, don't like, you're not biblical. You're not born again. I don't talk like I'm born again. I'm like, oh, listen, I'm sure when you're busting a nut and you're having an orgasm, what do you call, don't you call God? Is that blasphemy? Because he came at me with this blasphemy thing about me talking, you know, and wow. I started to talk about it more. Like, okay, so why is it uncomfortable? We are, you have a license, you are married. So why should it be uncomfortable? Why yeah. can I not tell you that it's okay for you to stroke your husband's penis while you guys are driving? What is the big deal is that? That's exciting. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> right. You know, we're taking the fun out of this whole thing. It's supposed to be fun. It, mm. It's 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 a beautiful. So, so wait, is it supposed to be fun or is meant to give birth to children? Okay. Which one is the primary purpose of sex? Okay. Biologically, sex is good for reproduction. But if it was only for reproduction, God would not put all those nerve endings that give us so much pleasure in there. It would just be okay, go in there, do what you gotta do, and no need for excitement, and we still get pregnant. Yeah. Everybody fulfills their moral compass and they're done, or their duty, obligation, biological obligation. Right. Now, this is why I keep saying the biological part comes in every month, and that's why every woman here can actually attest to that. Mm. Every time in a month, you find that you're extra freaky, you're horny, because mm. that's the time when you're ovulating, okay. that's the time when your body's saying, hey, I need to reproduce. Let's check out animals. Animals have the same thing. They have mating calls. They have ways where they attract men when it's time. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that's the biological part of it. Now, yeah. there are some people who are more freaky than others. Some women say they're so freaky during the period. You know what I mean? Oh. So, yes, we can use it. It's for dual purposes. While you're having fun, while you're having babies, why not enjoy the orgasms, man? Yes, sure. So, that brings up a follow-up question. You yes, know, sir. I know we have some questions. Is it okay for married couples to go through the red light? That's a personal choice. That's and a that's, personal choice. It's a personal Actually, choice. Actually, well, well, is it that personal? You have two people in a marriage, and one person may say uh, yeah, and the other person may say nay. And some uh, people are waiting for somebody. You shouldn't really be looking for approval, but some people just need to hear it that, you know, maybe other Christians don't really see an issue. Or, no, 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 absolutely don't do that, right? I don't see any. There's no biblical anything saying it's a no, or there's nothing, there's something wrong with it. Again, the reason I say it's a choice is it's a choice of preference. Some people don't mind. Right. Um, I've had times, you know, being a period and I'm horny, whatever, but I don't, I personally, I don't like it. And it's because I get really cranky. And I know a lot of women get like that too. The hormones are surging. You just really don't feel like anybody touching you. I've imagined having something dripping out of your body. It's very uncomfortable. Again, yes. it's, it's different people. If you find that this is the case in your marriage, what I would say is t try to reach a compromise. Okay. Um, if you find that your husband cannot wait those five days, Jesus, five days. Exactly. Five days sounds like five years in my days, ears right now. Then you guys need to find a compromise. Again, this is where oral sex comes into play. Satisfy him, or if he really needs it, yeah. Do your oral sex. We're still gonna get hands. to the oral sex part. We're still gonna get there. Yeah. You know? Use your hands. Use whatever, and just take mm -hmm. care of business. That's how I see it. Well, I think like. I'm one of those women that when I'm on my period, that's when I don't know. It's just it's insane. It, it's like I feel like I want to have sex. Yes, but like that. because I don't want to. Because there are people that say you get infection or they're scared of touching blood. But I just help myself with my little, you know, lipstick. Right. And that Come way on. I can get off without, you know, disgusting yes. my spouse. In case yes. you have women out there that yeah. really don't you know know how it's to not like i was complaining together. anyway but no it doesn't. topic for another day uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. true yeah, you're not alone. Spouses, uh, you're really not alone. Alone. What's that? and this is why i said she's not alone mm -hmm. that's why we have the, the god is great you know god has the design so much he that a lot of people don't understand the anatomy sometimes try to understand how to satisfy each other starts from you understanding the anatomy and of both the husband and both the, and the wife the clitoris is supposedly so people believe it's like a tiny organ that little thing at the top but no the clitoris extends to the inside mm. Mm. now who should it. know that the man or the woman both people should know that but mostly the man because mm. you know you know what you're going to be working with same you thing know. the woman should know what a friend love is what part mm -hmm. of the of the penis is the most uh you know it causes the most excitement mm -hmm. what you should focus on it's all part of educating one another all right so let me let me add on to the the whole thing about um about if if it's for if god the way i look at things is really the answers that god already gave us that's how i look at things i don't look at uh just the bible the bible is a beautiful complete book as far as i'm concerned yeah however there's a but there's a however this additional math will continue to learn as time goes on, right? Yes, so, so for example, why would all of us, uh, either men or, or women, there, there's limits.
to how far biologically you can reproduce. Maybe men can go further into the future more, but there's all those things are ups and downs. There's a section of your life that's that's only useful. For women, there's um there's biological clock, right? But sex, enjoying sex is none of those. No. Unless you're sick or, or you get too old, which is mm. still physical, right? If you're mm -hmm. physically complete, you can always enjoy it. So by by virtue of just math, it's, it sounds like it's more fun. And there are people that, especially in this time and age, that truly come into a space of life and they say they don't want children, but they still enjoy sex. And it's oh, God that created them. Okay, I'll let people answer that for themselves. Some people are commenting here because I see my wife was laughing just now looking at the comments. <laughs> the comments are hilarious. Yes. <laughs> oh <my laughs> God. Sister Lola, please don't spoil my Christian life. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, so. I don't care about her lipstick. I, you know, I, I, I entertain her lipstick, and uh, that's right. Oh my god, and, I like you already. I like and you. it's one of the best tools that. Wow. I, okay, that's what's up. Okay. <laughs> it's one of the best tools that make it go all around. Come on, come on. Okay. Uh, all right, but we'll talk Stella about that too because though. was that? I said Stella likes the join. <laughs> you, have a, you have a you know what well, we are talking about briefly now it's a very very serious issue it, it is, is a what serious I find issue is a lot of men look at toys as a threat yes and unfortunately with all due respect i think it's actually kind of limited you know to african men again it's all about the understanding and mm. refusing to go with the program right you know, i i was a, i was a victim of that you know, he threw away my toys all the time. But as as we were throwing it away, me, I was going to buy it. She was okay. not throwing away. All right now. <laughs> Again, that's like the forbidden fruit now. The more you throw it away. <laughs> I want to throw away. That's correct investment, but shoot, the shops are not closed. I go get my stuff again, and I try to hide it because, like, you know, it's 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 supposed to bring you know more fun to the bedroom. Yeah, you guys. I will get to that point. Yes, yes, we will. You know, as human beings, we get complacent, not because we want to. Right. It's because we get bored. We're just humans, oh, right. you know, and doing the same thing over and over and over and over again right. will create issues for you. It starts with you because you will get bored. But the person that is closest to you will feel that at some point. And if you want to, what's the English of Koetididi? Like, turn your deaf ear to it, right? <laughs> If you want to do that, you just punish yourself for no reason because right. you won't be able to give love at the level that you can give love. Um, most of this stuff we're talking about is first psychological before yes. it's physical. So the idea that somebody feels like they're competing with a sex toy in the bedroom is just, it's, it's, it's a sign of low um, hmm. emotional yeah, intelligence. Preach it, preach it, preach it. You know? I'm listening, I'm listening. So I just wanted to okay. throw that in there. Okay. True. Let's go on to the next question. Uh, by the way, I feel like every woman deserves to have a lipstick. I'm sorry. Thank you. I meant to that. I'm least. glad you said lipstick because I was telling Pastor Shola the other day. <laughs> that, you know, that, you know. another thing is, I'm sorry, but we'll get there. When you talk about sex toys, I think people already have this image, this idea in their heads that a sex toy is a dick looking yeah. at it. No. It's actually the worst one. Most women don't enjoy that. I don't I like, like those ones. Yes. Like yeah. You know? But that's the idea people have. Yeah. And this is why I talk about education. Sister La, thank you for always for stressing that lipstick. <laughs> because honestly, if it were your bag, you might just get it. It's a lipstick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I feel like I might be coming from a, you know, bad experience in a relationship. Because mm. for me, when I, I, I was also a late bloomer. I lost my virginity at 21. All my friends were like, oh, sex is awesome, it's awesome. And by the mm -hmm. time I had it, it was terrible. Exactly. I did not receive anything. I was waiting for the beat. And it wasn't with me. Let's be clear. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't with me. So I had she to said terrible. <laughs> I had to go get a little vibrator and find out what my, what I like. What you were like missing. How, yes, Thank what you. I was missing. Very and well. I got my first orgasm by myself. It was amazing. Okay, I love so, it. I don't. I don't. She couldn't no, wait for me. No, no woman should not have an orgasm, Please, except if you don't want it. Every right. woman deserves. If not, it feels like a job. You feel like you're going to work. A guy is grinding and doing all that, and it's it's finished. And 
what what do you get somebody said come on loud it come on loud it i mean it sounds like we're having uh, some moments the men that we have on here i see my brother uh you know alone on here of mishore he said Shout he out to watch, Mr. He to watch his wife play with her sex me too that's what that's the best turn on for me that's what we are talking about mm -hmm. You know why? That's what we're talking about. It's a matter of understanding. Yes. First of all, once you start to see and say, fix that. Somebody, come on, bro. We didn't need to hear that. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? You will hear stuff today. You will hear it. Don't, don't let me you, say anything else. Once but we come, get past that stage of the toy is competition, mm. then we can actually delve into the fun part of it. Yes. You know, there's really nothing wrong with watching your woman play with her toy and get you all turned on already. And she already had a couple orgasms, and then you can go in and she's ready for you. For oh, you. Exactly. For real. Really ready for you. Like, come on, baby. Yeah, let's get yep. That's what yep. guys don't get. You right. know, I'm, I'm already, you know, I already had a couple orgasms. Yeah, babe, you know what? Do what, do with me whatever you want to do. Whatever right? you want. Exactly. That's it. You know, from back to <laughs> whatever, you do get yours. That's you it. That well, for, you know, a lot of people complain. One of the major, um, <laughs> I think this matter is not the biblical. I think you'll be all right. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a lot of people complain about their yeah, husband not lasting in bed. Mm -hmm. Of course, most men would not that are going through that. Uh, yeah, premature ejaculation, or uh, what do you call it? Uh, erectile erectile dysfunctions. Mm -hmm. They would never admit that, you mm -hmm. know, especially if they're coming from our end of the world. Okay. Right. Um, if you not admit it, I will just tell you. If you let her have orgasms a few times before you jump in and start penetrating, first of all, it's uh, you, you're listening, okay? When you listen, right? Yeah, I like to tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, I'm an educator. I'm an educator. When, when, you are listening, when you listen to a woman, she will allow you, you can penetrate anywhere, her brain, anywhere, any part of her body, her, her, her being, you can penetrate. That's it's the point. True. But if you're not listening, if you just want to go for penetrating, which <laughs> is which is not just sex, it's everything in this relationships right. between a man and a woman, mm -hmm. if you're not going to listen, she will push back. She may not tell you. She probably started pushing back eight, ten, nine years before she actually tells you, which means it's worse. Right. So, uh, listen, men, listen, just listen, okay? Just relax and, and be willing to learn something. If you listen, you'll be able to penetrate. Let her have orgasms. It, it's, again, it's mental. You'll be able to penetrate as much as she wants to by doing that. And that experience will carry over and over. It's, right. not, it's not, oh, because it was too long, we don't right. have to have men. It's actually backwards, the way it works, because right. again, it's mental. It right. is. Yeah. Oh, that brings me to my second question. So this one is sex dad. She said, my my husband said it will never engage in oral sex with me. How do I get to say that it's not that much of a big deal? He also doesn't like receiving it. Oh, I already know this kind of guys. He probably like, receiving it outside. You know, I don't know. Those kind of people, they need a... Can, can they send them to me? You know, let's talk. <laughs> oh, send, send, the, send the husband to you. Yeah, no, both of them knew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> I, don't offer, I don't offer personal coaching, but honestly, on a serious note, though, um, in that situation, I don't know. It's probably going to be hard. Hmm. It's, and unfortunately, this woman is probably going to stay starved. Oh, but this is where I tell her, get yourself a sex toy, sis. Hey, yes, you. Get your, there are different types, man. I mean, Ogun, Ogun oh yeah, oh yeah, my girl is on here watching. There's <laughs> one, Lola, I can give you a recommendation. You guys can give it a, a try. There's one, uh, Tracy's dog. Ooh. Oh. Tracy's dog. Okay. Yes. They show me. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what it does, it does, it has a sucking, uh, you know, vibration, which, you know, you guys are going to get me dirty right now. So, Please go for it. Go for it. When you're, when you're given a woman, uh, when you're giving her a head, some men just feel like it's all about the tongue. It's just tongue action. No, it's not about the tongue action. Exactly. The main cocoa right there is the sucking. You know, yes, the tongue does its work to kind of prepare you for it. And then you got to add in some, when you're doing the tongue, then you got to add in some sucking uh, movement to it. That's when you see that she goes crazy. Now, this is where your duty 
to observe every action you're doing. How is she reacting to it? Right. How is she responding to it? Is she fit? And a woman too, you got to be able to tell him, okay, baby, right there. You know, we don't talk. Again, we look at sex as just lay yeah. How can you just lay there? How can you just lay there? How can you not? respond and let him know babe okay yeah it feels so good you're right there baby stop right there that feels so good it's right. communication yes, yes. you have yes. to extend communication to the bedroom absolutely absolutely because it, it carries over where are they going where are they going go 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 where <laughs> <laughs> go deeper Jesus. hey don't pollute my mind though but anyway <laughs> We need this in premarital counseling. Yes, I, 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 I recommend premarital counseling. It will make the pain that much easier. But I think every marriage will go through their own pain oh, if it's going to last. It's just the way it is, you know, yes. um, because, 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 because. They're people, putting you online, though. Who? Your people, your members. <laughs> what? Your members are putching you. <laughs> make sure you suck. <laughs> make sure you suck, I see. I yeah, saw so don't just use the tongue to be ah, some people are really rough. They're like really don't know. Thing. Like the tongue is not it's not enough. Please. It's good. Yeah, you, you got to manage. But that's that, that's, you that's, that's where that's where the listener out, goes. In. Out. You're eating or out. Mm -hmm. Out. Mm -hmm. In and out. Yes. Inside out. out. Sorry, Inside. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to stay holy today. <laughs> You know, no, you won't, you'll be holy. Don't worry, sex is holy. No, we need to care about the <laughs> Kayamata things because I, I, I want to hear about it. Mm. Oh, the Kayamata? Ah, I was what, what, where that is that well. name from? What is that? Is that like a, a Bini name, an English no. name? What it's is a that? Hausa name. Hausa name. Kayamata okay. is a Hausa name, uh, a term that means uh, wife's property in your oh. vibe means every yawa. Mm -hmm. The houses are a little bit more, they were a little bit more exposed when it comes to those things, understanding that the woman needs to enjoy the bedroom. Wow. Now, when she's leaving, they have all kinds of sexual enhancement things they pack for her to help enhance the bedroom. Okay. Different things. They understand that the woman has to be very juiced up, and they understand that some women cannot actually uh, get wet on their own. On their own. So they started to they have like herbs that they created they have like some things called sugar lumps that they created they have one that they called the um silky cola they're all natural things that help the woman actually you give us please too i checked for the sugar lump i couldn't find it too. Ah, don't worry, I'll give you the reach out to me and i'll give you the vendors too okay <laughs> yeah they actually have a lady in california who says all right oh, so nice. somebody, somebody said something here it says lagos kayamata is evil i beg uh, can you can you Jesus. talk to oh, what I'm they're talking there. about? I'm going there. This mm -hmm. person probably has. You see, one thing with information is when you get the right information, they mm -hmm. tend they tend to want to pollute it, and people get get yes, it all mixed people up. People abuse it. Yeah. I did my research based on the original intention and purpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, it's area where and you have all kinds of herbs. Honestly, mm -hmm. they have they have different. They have sugar lumps. I tried it. They have silky cola. I tried it. When mm. I tried mine, and I, tried <laughs> I think I think is it a he or she? Do you know this person? Uh, I can make somebody it, forget his destiny. Yeah, so he arranged <laughs> yeah. it a little bit. And I was going there. <laughs> All right. When I tried one, I tried the sugar lumps. Mm -hmm. I didn't say a word to my husband. You take it like three uh, hours or two hours before. It's just like candy. You're licking on it. Yeah. The ringtone that night was this, and I was yeah. quite awesome, like you're correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You for okay. he forgot his destiny. I mean, you forget your destiny. <laughs> the lumps, uh, they are like a, 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 it's like candy. It's sugar. They said it's sugar, but it's, I think it have other components in there. Okay. What it does, it makes the woman a little bit more wet, and it makes you more horny. Silky cola is the same thing. So basically, that's what kayamata is. Now, mm -hmm. now, they went a little deeper, and the house has do it too. They mm -hmm. have this thing that they fix like chicken. They have a, this preparation where they fix chicken and have this thing, they put herbs, they put in it. Also, you don't need to go all that. Mm. Okay. Which is why some people say they use it to capture men. And really look, mm. look at it. If mm. you as a couple, you're not already doing all of those things. You're not already supplementing, helping things out. Mm. When the man steps out mm. and he meets somebody who's using all of that, the man cannot even understand what's going on. It's just like, me do, man, that thing is sweet. The level is different. <laughs> it will keep going back to that sweetness. 
So yeah. if you ignore this knowledge and you say, I don't want to hear, you are not helping your destiny. Okay. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. This is the this is the issue with marriage. You know, we were told that we are one, and and I agree we are one, but you still you are still with a different individual mm. who has a lot of stuff going, on, pain, their own thing going on, yeah. maybe from work, from life, from their background, their first twenty five years that you don't know, right. right? And you cannot be delusional and say ah we are just one. We're supposed to. That is supposed to. In reality, eh? Mm -hmm. You have to pay attention to yeah. how you can give, what value you can bring into the marriage. These are some okay. of them. Because the other person may not know, the other person, they may know something. Yes. You bring this kind of knowledge to the table, it right. will change everything. And if you don't, remember they go out there, like you just said, and they are meeting people. And no matter how bad you think he or she is hmm. right now, there's somebody else eyeing that person yep. and wishing and maybe not even planning. But an opportunity can, there's opportunities everywhere, every day. Right. But opportunities are is somebody that kind of left the, like energy is neither dis created nor destroyed. It's right. Somebody right. else's opportunity that came in your hands right. a lot right. of times. So don't leave your opportunity out there. But yeah, I want to make sure I'm connected to real life like that. Because so, some people are so holy here. They don't want to realize so it's real. So how can we help the men? Because honestly, I feel like, the men too they have their own problems because you know i heard that sometimes uh the reason why men can't function well is because of their health maybe blood pressure mm -hmm. uh there's what maybe problems with their nerves and stuff like that blood is mm -hmm. not getting to the penis and mm -hmm. you know so um again my brother said earlier on during the show he said we are we need to go with the time okay um because we're exposed to different things now radiation the kind of foods we eat mm. um it's causing a, a negative impact on the health of a lot of people wow. um i'm 40 i already have high blood pressure okay oh, wow. for me it's genetic and oh. also you know issues i was going through mm -hmm. um now i'm working on it with medication and exercise That's right and if you now look at a lot of our people between the age of 35 and, and above now, you're finding that more and more younger people have chronic issues that normally would not show face until later on in the years. Wow. Now, with that understanding, we have to know that, yes, it would affect certain things. For the men, example, if they have diabetes and high blood pressure, those things affect like the arteries that are responsible for getting blood. What is What helps erection? for both the woman and the man is about the blood flow to the private organ right yes. yes um that's what makes it more intense right so if you're having a condition that actually uh obstructs that things will not go normally okay now sadly some blood pressure medications also have the negative impact or side effect that affects the man and the mm -hmm. causes erectile dysfunction mm -hmm. this is where i say what most of our men do now, now they keep quiet about it because yes, they have this ego that wow. kind of affects them. Yes, for men. Sorry, before you move forward, it's very good. It's very important to note that you are a registered nurse as well, correct? Oh, right, right, right. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Continue. I just want them to hear it. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, somebody said I look twenty-eight. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. I was about That's to say so twenty-two. Cool. You guys keep, keep going. Keep going. You make my head go. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Um. So it's important that we understand that. And for men, I was saying, the ego will not make most men talk or speak out. And this is where in the marriage, and I get a lot of that. They will now start hiding things or say, I'm tired, I'm tired, because they wow. are not sure of their own erection. Mm -hmm. They are not sure of their own performance. To mm -hmm. them, it affects their ego that they want to have sex and they are not feeling their, you know, their penis is not, erection is not as it used to be. So, they don't speak up. Right. Now, this is where I say, if you're not helping yourself, it's yes. about communication, like uh, Olomi said. Right. It's all about communication. If you feel like you're your partner best friend, you will not even have that ego. You should be able to tell her and say, hey, listen, this is what I'm feeling. And a partner who you already satisfied, who you already have the idea of satisfying, I think men feel like it's all about the penetration uh -huh. to satisfy their woman. If yes. you know a lot about oral sex and foreplay, you probably already got your woman there. 
Yes. Facts. Scientifically, um, mm-hmm. women are able to orgasm. Well, men are able to orgasm in three to four minutes. Yes. Women, we might take us about seven to nine minutes. Okay. You already see that's already five minutes. We'll see. Mm. With lots of concentration. Yes, with no distraction. Lots of concentration. Lots of... <laughs> no distractions. No distractions. Honestly. <laughs> It's it's um that's the deal. So, but those are the kind of understanding we need to have, yeah. and that's why you, as a man, if you're already armed with that information, you know that that five minutes that you want to make up for, use oral sex, use, use what you have. It's not about your prowess, and then your erection can get you through. Even she might not even need your erection at the end of the day. Yeah. She might not need you to keep grinding and grinding. So yeah, if you have high blood pressure, or whatever, and you're taking medicine that's affecting your erection, go to your doctor. Our doctors now are aware. And they are able they to know. prescribe something that works for you. Please don't go and be getting self medication. Hmm. Don't yes. diagnose through your friends. Our uh, men, they do it. They don't talk to doctors or their wives. Before you end up in the emergency room, they'll mm-hmm. be drinking that go. <laughs> They're drinking the wrong things that go, all kinds of you know, crazy things. They talk to their friends instead of their wives and their doctors. Right. Men, you need to stop that, honestly. You know, uh, just so we know, at about one hour mark, the thing we cut up will come right back. Yes. Okay. Now, here's the thing uh, that a lot of people need, to, a lot of men need to understand because this is primarily your job as a man. Mm-hmm. Uh, seduction uh, is primarily your job not because you're a man, because you are leading, you are the leader. So, right. se- seduction is, uh, is something that starts way before bedroom. Right. It's, um, it, it means a lot more than just sex, you know. Uh, politicians mm-hmm. use seduction to get people to vote for them. Yes. And um, and it has nothing to do with ego. Ego is the worst ingredient you can add into your ability to get what you want, to, to seduce. Um, yeah. Like I said, the first ingredient earlier is really listening. You need to know who your audience is and what they, what turns them on, what gets them to tick. You have to pay attention to that. Now, with that being said, if you get in the bedroom and it's not happening as supposed to happen. That's mm-hmm. one day, second day, and then you now go into a corner and now you are shy. That's yeah, just, a, okay. if you're confused, it's time to learn something new. Pick up a yeah. book. Just learning about seduction alone will give you hard on. First of all, she just said, we don't really have much uh, issue with hard on. Our issue is we get into a shame because shame is a trigger for men. We get into a place of shame and then, of course, we're turned off if we feel like there's shame coming up, up yeah. right? But it's time for you to learn. So I'm not, it's not necessarily like you have to discuss with her what's going on, but you should learn something about her body, about your body. Like it's not common knowledge that you have to kind of try to work out at least once a week. Okay, I know everybody said three times a week. Get in the gym <laughs> once in a week. You will feel the hard on in your arms, everywhere of your body, just by yeah, yeah. working out. You know, right. so it's not, you know, I just want to encourage people. The ego thing, I understand, you know, it's, it's soothing. But it's only in the instant. You have a lot more long-term happiness when yeah. you know that you can seduce your wife. It's just, it feels a lot better. And she will love you to death. Of course, you can't go anywhere. The ego thing actually destroys for the most part. Because I don't understand why you can't discuss with your spouse if you're having issues. Because I remember, was it 2010? When we had, um, my son is nine now. Mm-hmm. When we had him, I don't know. It was off for me. I didn't want to have sex. Mm-hmm. And we went to talk to a doctor. And right. he actually, you know, suggested a few things like, and that's when I knew about KY and all this lubricant so help can use. Nice. Yep. And we were yep. able to, you know, get back on the same page. And then after a while, KY did not work anymore too. I think- so it's an ongoing, you have to listen. You really have to listen. <laughs> the KY yeah. started to make me, I feel, feel raw. Ooh. I think because of the ingredients, well, I think that one of it. Yes. Harsh. Yeah. So yeah. I started using water based, and now I feel so much better. Yeah. And honestly, if you try sugar lumps or the silky cola, you don't need KY anymore. Ah, oh, yes, yes to me. <laughs> <I'm telling you. laughs> I want it's, to know. It's actually, and it's all natural, honestly. And you wow. know, you're gonna feel it. It's um. This is well. Let's talk about you know being before we go there. I like us to let's so. Also, one last thing I want to talk about when it comes to the erectile dysfunction, and it's important, the testosterone level in Mm -hmm. men, which is the hormone that is responsible for, uh, you know, all of that erection in men. Mm -hmm. Women, it's estrogen, right? Now, there's a correlation between 
weight gain in men and the testosterone level. Wow. Okay. When we, as we age, we tend to, yes, gain more weight and men gain weight in their stomach. Once you're seeing that, you know that definitely what I found out, because I did a little bit more research again to this morning, when you have start to have those belly fat, belly fat actually converts testosterone to estrogen, which is a female hormone. Real. Real. So That's if, you're real. Having, if you're having more estrogen in your body, then definitely you're not going to have, you're going to have issues with your erection. So what am I saying? Because you're becoming a woman, essentially. Basically. <laughs> exactly. What am I saying? You got to start working out some more. Watch what you're eating. Exercise, cardio. We take all of those things for granted, you know? Sure it's do. something you guys can do together as a couple. When you know Zumba. you're that ties to your, you know, your sexual performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Please, let's take note. Say, big stomach is kind of our father, so when they say evidence of good living, no it's comment. nonsense. It was lie. It's still lie. It's still a lie. It's a lie it was a lie, and it's still a lie. <laughs> you know, I mean, it happens, but the thing is, it's all about nobody. Everybody's not going to be six pack. Some people are going to be just their nice one pack, and we love it like that. But you need to start doing things to supplement, workout, exercise. You know. I mean, cardio. you know, I have some experience here and there. You know. What I found is that <laughs> women don't care about six packs. It's not six. We don't care about six packs. Back. Women don't care. It doesn't matter. It however, however, if you have big stomach, you will become a woman. Your hormones will tell on you. The energy around you will tell on you. And if you become a woman with another woman in the house, it's chaos. Especially if the you woman know. does not have a pot belly. We got a problem <laughs> here. <laughs> Just Even if your woman has pot belly. <laughs> It's not your excuse. Mm -hmm. That's not your excuse. You're still yeah. supposed to remain a man, you know. Yes. And somebody said, "Who six pack except?" It's not about the six pack. It's, yeah. like it's not true. It's, it's about just being healthy. About keeping up with it and health wise, yes. and yes. keeping up with it. Everybody struggles, man. I enjoy working out, but there are times I go weeks without working out. But I know what works. I know the difference in my body when I do it. Yes, mm -hmm. and we yes. all know, it, you know. So it's it's just about. It's staying healthy for one for each other, you know. Somebody says six pack is not biblical. This is about you. <laughs> Who is this biblical person? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> six packs with tiny feet is a disaster. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So talking about sizes, so for the women, I mean, I think men have it in their head that sizes is all women think about. And there's this myth that the bigger a man's hand is. The big guy is D is. I mean, the guy is feet is size, eh? shoe size. Mm, uh, uh, uh -huh. Shoe size, eh? <laughs> I found that is not necessarily true. It's not. It's not. It's all a myth. And, and I'll tell you again, it's not a myth. And I think I explained this with uh, during the show on Saturday. Um, let's come from the health standpoint, okay? When women, when we have babies, especially those of us who push babies out, Okay, yeah. I just put it out once. Uh, the vagina is supposedly elastic, but yes, it does not go back to the elastic, to the right uh, free baby. Honestly, right. it really does not go back. If it must go back, there are some things that you have to do as a woman to support it. Now, when that happens, right, you find that they are not getting enough satisfaction with the regular size dick, so they need a bigger dick. And I'll tell you why. I mentioned, remember, I mentioned in the beginning about the clitoris and how. It's small, but then extends to the inside. Yes. Right. You only get the reason you're feeling whatever it is you're feeling on the inside is the man's dick pressing against your vaginal oh. walls and the clitoris in there, right? right? Because mm -hmm. it has a lot of nerve endings. This nerve it just has thousands and thousands of nerve endings. Mm. You know, um, <laughs> Jesus. Like, you guys already know. I, okay, so that's why a woman might say, "Okay, I need a bigger dick." Because, yeah, she needs to feel all that thing still in there. Right. That's one reason. So it's not necessarily a myth. Now, what am I saying? It's not about the size. It's mm -hmm. about you knowing how to use it. Yeah. Okay? If you're not... So you still need size, but you need to know how to use it. Are you saying it's a prerequisite? Yeah, skill, though. It's skill. There's a skill set. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Are you saying you still need size, but you need to know how to use it? Or you're saying you don't need size? It's one or the other. Which one are you, you saying? It's not, you don't need, I'm only explaining why some women will say, oh, they need bigger sizes. Oh, it ha it's all about the size. Just to explain that it's not really a myth. It is mm -hmm. what happens. They okay. want to be able to feel it. They want but to feel it. Okay. the good news is, I'm not saying because you have a small dick now, you are useless. No. 
or a medium sized dick. It's about you knowing how to use it. Even right. for that woman who's saying that she needs a big dick. Mm. Because what what it's saying is she might not necessarily feel it if you guys are doing the regular missionary style. Exactly. She might be one that needs the doggy. She might need mm -hmm. the scissor style. She might need from the side. You know, it's all about knowing each other and communicating. Oh, right now, you know, we, we all stand about this okay, so lay down there, missionary style. Even the missionary people don't do missionary anymore. Um, oh if God. you like missionary, I like missionary because, and I'll tell you why. For me, it's a different, it's soulful. He can be working on the boobs while we're kissing and all of that. Right, right, right. right. Okay. But, you, but you like it because you're into it. Um, if uh, once, once you start looking for all kinds of answers, if it's not right, then you start looking for maybe it's not maybe be maybe the missionary is too much, maybe the you know. But there's a lot more studies that are showing that people actually enjoy missionary as long as they're with the person they want to be with, and it's not some kind of craziness. But yeah, let's end this session. Let's come right back on. We're coming right back on. It's just the hour mark. We'll come right back on. Okay, I'll be All right. here. All right. All right. Welcome, welcome, guys. All right. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome hi. Back back on back on so good so we have uh what's the next question oh what's the next question sorry <laughs> so we did we did ask out that person's question <laughs> yeah. which is basically to um you said they should bring their husband to you or uh, uh, with herself right so <laughs> together, that, no. okay. uh, together so you can together, so you can help no. their destiny you know you know this this is what we're just <laughs> laughing about i'm gonna be honest with you see and this is where people need to understand that this thing is important Whenever mm -hmm. we have a, a sex show, right, and we talk about it, and men see how you know how vocal I am, and they trust me, my inbox is always full. Of They'll course, come out, you know, I'll be hearing all kind of story, man. If I go down on a woman, I'm like, okay, I don't need that information. No sense. Tell your wife. Don't tell your wife. You know. <laughs> so, so clearly, they missed the point. They, they missed the point. They missed the point. But what I can get there is they're not sexually satisfied at home. Even the husband, right? Even the most of the time, it's the husbands that come in my inbox. After okay. The show, trying to post yeah. about their sexual prowess, and I'm like, listen, I don't need to hear that. You need yeah. to take it elsewhere, take it home. Right. So this is why I think that a lot of women also too need education. Lola mentioned something earlier about how she got the toy herself, and she educated herself, and she learned about her body. We yes. then we need to learn about our bodies. Yeah. We don't. It's not necessarily about putting your happiness or your sexual satisfaction solely on the man. That's a lot of Yes, pressure. yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's true. You know? absolutely. But if you don't know your body and you're telling him to discover your body for you, then that's not fair. Mm -mm. Okay. You may not be able to step up. You may just end up with the husband that won't yeah, take that uh, that won't <laughs> take that initiative. I do feel like men should take that initiative. I do feel like it's just that much powerful. If mm -hmm. you're the one that brings uh, some um, if you know how to that's seduce story. and yeah. you and you introduce some new things as you go in your marriage you understand mm -hmm. this thing if right. you understand that it's just that much powerful because if you're attracting her to you she will love you even better but mm -hmm. yes I agree that women should also not leave their destiny all the way in the hands of oh, their that's... husband mm -hmm. if, if especially if you know he's old school he has a little bit of pot belly and uh, you have to beg him to go to the gym once in a while, in which right. he will take an offense, he will get defensive, and, you know, it's a whole bunch of things that happen that's yeah. related to this, you know. Yes. Yeah. Hey, fam, I see you all. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you so I much mean, for coming you. through. Thank you all for joining, guys. Thank you. Yeah. It means a lot. Yep. So the next question is, does porn help or hurt a marriage? Porn. Everything... Um, when it comes to, you know, having... Don't you be biblical people, sorry. <laughs> you guys will be okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm hoping you are in bed and you're ready to get freaky and you can jump on your wife and this I feel... Drop the Bible, whatever. But yeah, so this is what I think about this. It's all about intentions, okay? Anything in life is all about intentions. What yes. can he do for you? Just the same way with the sex toys, you know? It's all about the intentions. Sex toys, too, can also be addictive. Um, oh, you can yeah. also get carried away with it, especially yes. if you're not communicating with your spouse or whatever. And yes, it can take over sometimes. Like you feel like men, because men, those things give you like ten times. Oh 10, my god! They can give you ten it's, orgasms at a go. It's you not know, realistic. Yeah, yeah. A man cannot keep up with that. It's <laughs> not realistic. Okay, that should be for your enjoyment, or maybe your husband is not available, or you know you want to have yes. a good time, and you can say, "Babe, I need a me time," and you go because sometimes yeah, we want to. 
exploring all of that. Now, same thing with porn, when it comes to porn. Yes. What are the intentions? Are you using it together? Are you using it to get aroused? Are you using it to learn new styles? You can learn things from it. It's yes. all about your intentions. Oh, are you watching it on your own all the time? Mm, addiction. Abi, you forgot to go to work. Yeah. Abi, so, you forgot to go to work. It's, they're laughing at your face. It's, it's all about your intentions um, and I'm having that understanding. Now, let me be quick to say, if it goes against your spiritual uh, whatever beliefs, please, by all means, stay away from it. All of these things are convictions. I spoke to a lady last week after the show. She called me and she was like, yeah, you know, I she's not been really satisfied and she bought herself a sex toy, but she's not really been able to use it because she feels really bad like she's coming in the oh, yeah. And I right. told her, I said, listen, it's all about your understanding and the things yes. like that. And I'm going to explain that to you all right here. I'm a very spiritual person also. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I have a great understanding of sex. And I believe that God put those my clitoris and all of those organs on me for me to enjoy and enjoy me. it's not here for decoration mm -hmm. I guess so. so with how much i i don't i don't play with it i met when i feel like i need to use my toys i use it i get that edge off of it i can function i can get better clarity because mm -hmm. women you're not listening to me women we also have blue balls they say men are the only ones that have blue balls, okay. blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> right we also have a moment where you feel like man everything i need a dick man i need to get you know I'm sorry, you're cranky like, mm. like you start getting cranky you know, that kind of thing. so here's the deal with that it's uh, uh even with how freaky i am or how much i enjoy you know taking care of myself sexually there are times spiritually and mm -hmm. i will hear it like you know what you don't need that right now you got to kill the flesh at this time and i listen Mm. You know, it's just right. about your. Why am I sharing this? It's about your spiritual connection and what. Right. Yes. Right. You know, right. so you don't start feeling bad, or they'll say, "If I watch porn, I'm going to hell." What hell are you going to? Please, where's the hell? Okay. You know, I think you. I think you. <laughs> well, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. between Mars and <laughs> Earth. <laughs> um, I'm not going there. Don't I'm start the last you, <laughs> you know, I see, I see the old porn thing that uh, when people come up with, uh, ah, you know, children of God, blah blah blah. When they do that, I think it's an excuse because the truth is that you don't have to go to Pornhub. You don't have to go to X videos. I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling you now, so you can go there to watch. Can we take notes? <laughs> <laughs> on, I'll go back there. Right? Uh, you don't have to go, go there. I'm not advertising them. There are actually places that your counselor, your therapist can recommend for you classes where you can right. learn. This is you giving. This is a lot of people giving themselves excuses to not learn what they need to learn. Right. Sex is a lot more than just pounding on somebody or somebody oh, pounding on you on. that's See, why it feels like a duty hmm. yeah i can't live like that you know so okay. stop saying no god doesn't want us to watch porn that wasn't the point the point is that you need to learn something learn and use it for the right purposes that's talking right. about that i have this group on i don't like now i'm so careful about talking this group about talking about this group on whatsapp because everybody wants to be part of it i'm now. gonna be part she of it she wants to be a part of your group I, you can't leave me out no <laughs> so, so it all started from this understanding that a lot of us need education we need um the right support to get us freaky the first few weeks you know of course african women they're like hmm, now these women are wild oh okay <laughs> like what they do what the motive of it now is they're wild for their men like every friday we open up on fridays <laughs> through mondays we do air talk about everything share porn we talk about what excites us and everything and they're like, you know what, guys, I gotta go. I got they're all around all morning. Yes. <laughs> right. I'm <a> so, <laughs> so they go get theirs. I have a pastor who reached out to me and she was like, he was like, Sister Show me, I don't know what somebody said they will send you registration form. Oh, okay. <laughs> are, are those your people? Those are your people. That's one of the that's one of the admin. I want it. <laughs> right. You know, the pastor was like, Sister Show, I don't know what you're teaching them, but I love it. He's a mm. pastor. He loves this. He has seen the difference in his wife. Oh, I so, love that. Exactly. It's all about understanding. See, just, just because, um, women, huh? sorry, just because people have bastardized something doesn't mean that God did not create it for good. Yes. You know? Yes. But go ahead, please, my yes. sister. You know, so it's all about understanding and be willing to be educated and have a summer. I have women on there who get uncomfortable, like, oh my God, what am I just watching? I added my best friend to the group. 
the next day she was out and she was like, oh my God, she, I was driving. And I it's too much. I know you. I know how you can get. She's very shy when it comes to those things. And we have a lot of women who are like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's all about the mindset. Yes. So what is your mindset? Even when it comes to sex. When yes. you look at it like sex is not, a, it's a chore. Sex mm-hmm. becomes a chore to you. Yes. Yeah. And really, honestly, if you, if you don't, if a woman has been having sex and is not having an orgasm, right. it becomes a chore. That's, that's yes. painful. That's a you duty. What I mean? oh yeah. my God. It becomes a chore. You, mm-hmm. Do you really blame her when mm. it's all about the man and the man is actually not willing to learn or satisfy her? When you tell the man to have uh, oral sex, they'll be like, eh, hey, my mouth that I used to pray. Or they'll start <sighs> telling you all kinds of crazy things. Okay, listen. Um, and I'm gonna have something cancer. There's no cancer anywhere. Yeah, yeah cancer. That. Some people no. I heard that. Some people say it causes cancer of the mouth. I do something. The, it was this guy that came up with that crap. Okay. And came back to say no, he was only he, he was not true. Blah blah blah. There's no oh. cancer. As long as your woman is clean. Now let's go back to that. A lot of women we like oral sex. It's great. Real talk. Um, you have a queen. You really got to. If you want to satisfy a woman, be ready to give her oral sex. They're just this thing about the combination of the warmth of the tongue, you know, going down on there. It's just amazing. Again, don't forget, I said that what causes that um, intensity is the amount of blood flow over there. And yes. when you want to get enough blood flow to an uh, organ, just put some warmth over it. The mouth is warm. That's just the explanation. And the mouth, even for a man, we are giving him a head. The reason mm-hmm. people like because of the warmth of the mouth on mm-hmm. the only organ. That's mm-hmm. why it's so intense. So, you yeah. know, it's about education, guys. Now, yes. if you want your husband to go down on you, you got to serve yourself fresh and clean. <laughs> you know, it's, I think it's offensive. to give, You will not give your husband food in a dirty plate. You will not yeah. get a plate from the trash can and go serve his food. Same thing. If he's going to put his mouth on your vagina, it mm-hmm. got to be clean. You yeah. got to yes. be well cared for. Yes. You know, there's nothing wrong with, okay, babe, you know what? Give me a minute. I got to go clean up. Nothing wrong with that at, at all. Yeah. yeah. Because, again, it's even better. Are, yeah, it's better. Mm-hmm. Men are visual and they keep and say Oh, it. yeah. <laughs> when he goes down there one time, or, you know, men have this finger test that they do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> finger <laughs> test. Finger test they do. They quickly go and check it out. And bring it's just sniff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and when it doesn't smell good, they don't go down there. And so yeah, maybe, yeah like, at least not on the back there. So you got to be clean, shave if you have to, wash up all the time, use wet wipes. I talk about this a lot. Uh, it's not common with African women. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to disrespect anybody. But yes. um, African American women, okay? Mm-hmm. And children, our children are raised here. Right. They are room. They they have room to understand the importance of keeping clean. Yes, they take oh, it yeah. very. They take it very important. Okay, mm-hmm. that's why when you see an African man go mm-hmm. and try out an African American woman, they'll compare to death. They'll tell you, "Oh my God, they're so clean. They smell so good because the they know the strawberries. The, uh-huh. the strawberries. They know the <laughs> tricks. But why can't we learn those tricks? It's possible." You know, there's some food to eat that you can help you smell and taste better. You know, so please, as a woman, if you're listening to me, take it important. You know, go online, right. do your research. Wipe, have wet wipes in your purse with you all the time. When you pee, use wet wipes. Don't just Absolutely. use paper, that's all that paper. You know, and, and keep clean. So mm. that way your husband will not have ex- an excuse to say, oh, she stinks, because I hear a lot about, oh, she stinks, you know. Yeah. So this is one minute. I feel like we need to talk more about, you know, the kind of products women should be using because yeah. I feel like, you know, we grew up in Africa and they were like, wash your, wash your vagina with soap. You are not supposed to use soap down there. Right, and okay. it kills all the good bacteria. So I feel like people need to know more about intimate washes that they need to use to keep that place refreshed. Right. We Can have I a be- female bathroom. Some people just pee and they Look. smell smell so bad, yeah. like somebody died. And I'm yeah. like, oh, mm. let me let on that from a, from a healthcare perspective, right? Okay? Because I we get a lot of uh, debate over that. You know, you soap, do you soap? Here's my argument. Okay, the vagina. Okay, I wish I had a picture. Okay, we have the whole woman's private organs, whatever. We have right. the labia minora, we have the majora. Those are the lips. They call it the lips, right? And then we have the vagina itself, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. The vagina, which is the inside, is what is self-cleaning. That's why you don't want to put any soap into it. Okay? okay. Now, there's some, the outside part of it, the folds, it's just like the skin. Mm. It's covered, it's wet. Right. It's, thick, it's moist and dark. Right. Mm. It will accumulate bacteria. There are certain soaps that you can use down for that place. Because we get a lot of misconceptions. They say, use water, use water only. And I say, no. Mm. We're not depend on water only. Because uh -huh. it's part of the skin on the outside. The vagina right. itself, because some people also will say, put your hand and in, with a soap and insert it. No, you don't want to do that. Because no, you don't want to. Now you're going to be messing with natural, the right. natural flora. The vagina is self-cleansing. The only right. time you want to do that is... And that specifically means the inside. As the you inside. inside. The outside is the organ itself. You have where you, like I said, have the lips. We call it lips. You want to make sure that is clean. Because again, believe it or not, some women don't know how to care for those places. Because if you really look at it, I mean, can I please, can I explain my... Please. If, you really, if you really look at it, if you, as a woman, if you go down there, open up your lips, put up a mirror, and you see for yourself. You see yes. the dirt in there. You're not dirty. It's normal. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because it's dark noise. So you got to keep it clean. Right. You know? And if you don't keep it clean, you'll start to give offensive orders. Again, what can cause offensive orders? Yeast infections. Yeast mm -hmm. infections. Okay? Um, caused by different things. We like all those sexy underwear. Mm, the the tongues. The tongue. The <laughs> silky underwear. The most healthy underwear for women should be cotton. Yes. Okay. By the way, we Absolutely. don't care about. By the way, men don't care about tongues. <laughs> FYI. Oh really? Uh, you guys don't? No, unless it's on somebody else, not our uh, wife. Uh, but... <laughs> 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 Terrible. This person says, "I because I need to remove the pain, uh, just so we can address him." Oh, the Chris, uh, using sex toy to me is not a good idea because there are things you can do to spice your loving. Love making more adventure, like love making at wild places, you know. Yeah, and, and I think it, he may be the same person that said earlier that what's the difference between sex and love making? Um, when it comes to your spouse, okay, there shouldn't be that much blurry line between sex and love making. When you're asking those right. questions, those are like jump, that's what Nigeria would call jump questions, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Your wife wants you to have sex with her, she wants you to go in, she wants you to. Treat her like a lady in the streets when yeah. you get into the sheets. She doesn't want you thinking love making. Exactly. Sorry. We have an annoying neighbor. All right. gotta... She does that's not what she wants. Okay. okay. Now if, if again we can we can we can use semantics and mess around with the words all day long and say exactly. sex and love making. You need to get to the cocoa of your rod. The cocoa of your rod is this, okay? We're yeah. talking sex here today. No. Don't get stuck on love making. Yes, you should make love. Yes, mm -hmm. duh. That's why I say it's a jump question. Yes, you <laughs> should. Uh -huh. Okay? Love making is not just sex. But we're talking about sex today because you need to learn how to do it properly. Yeah. Sometimes we want you to fuck us, man. Just fuck. Just okay. fuck the yeah. woman. Hello. Oh, this is <laughs> I love you. What is all this? <laughs> what is you. all this? <laughs> You're not speaking my mind. Oh, the, the problem is, you see, they have this understanding again coming from the terms of our parents. This is what mm. their mothers used to do. Mm -hmm. We are not, we are not your mother. Okay. We want you to turn us around. Watch it. Women now know the degrees of the of the uh doggy style. You know, there's an angle to it. There's different okay. angles to it. We have, you know, the pre level to my children. Yeah. Correct. Let me see. This, this African American woman, when they give it to your man, they won't come ha! back. Home. I he may never come okay. back home. <laughs> you know, yes, so. they are bolder in the bedroom. An African American woman who did not grow up with the cultural restrictions we have yeah. will tell a man, baby, I want some. But listen, we are no longer in the terms of our mother. You want some? Freaking text your husband and say, baby, I don't have any underwear right now and I'm dripping so bad. Okay. Tell me, he will run home. He That's might it. have an accident trying to come home. That's you know? it. You That's know? it. Listen, love making, that's boring, okay? Yeah. She's heard that before. Get it? She's heard that before. She needs she needs you. Like like she hears this in other places on TV. She watched Housewife of Atlanta and Houston and right. Lagos. And you're here talking about love making. 
that and you're confused. I'm being tying you down in there. You should be tying me down. Don't tie me down. Exactly. Yeah, it's manipulative no, 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 no. at best. It's, it's, I, I'm nothing against you, Prince Ayola. I'm just trying to make sure that we on the same page here. Uh, it's manipulative. It's, it's a manipulative thing to to say. You know, there are a lot of manipulative uh, phrases that we throw around like that, and it, and it's just a way for us to avoid the real thing we're trying to say. Thank you know, you. so let's get let's get nasty, okay? Let's get nasty, man. Say something nasty yeah. to me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what that's what where we have to get rid of the hypocrisy. Yes. I think we have a lot of hypocrisy when it comes to our mm -hmm. people. We you do. know what? We don't want our wife to behave a certain way. Well, that's the thing you go out there and you get. That's why huh. you guys have girlfriends and side chicks. But I can side tell you people, there's nothing that your side chicks is giving your man that you cannot give. It's all about changing your freaking mindset about it. Yes. You know, it's all about understanding that this thing, I gotta do, I gotta enjoy it to myself. Some, there's some women who say, turn up the light. Why do I want to turn up the light? I want to see what I'm freaking working with. Okay. I want to look in your eyes when I'm having your, my, your dick in my mouth and I'm saying, babe, you got, you don't, you, yeah. you feeling it? Yes. You know? Yeah. It's not about turn off the light. When are they turning off the light to you to your long? Turn on that light and see what you're working See with. everything. Open it up. <laughs> Legs up in the air. You know? It's I do have like friends that, you know, they were they married to like older guys. Mm -hmm. And one of my friends What is older? Think, How old? I would say he's like ten years older than his wife. And how old like, is he? <laughs> 35? Like 55? Something like that. Okay, I'm about 50. Oh, excuse me. What is it? About 50. And, you know, she wants to do the old freaky stuff. She wants to wear the outfit, uh, right. to role playing. What she got lashed out at? She was called oh, Ashawa oh. and all sorts of nonsense. Of course. So of now course. she has, you know, she lost hope in that. And I'm like... What should someone how like can, that do? How can you turn him around? Because I can't. It's sad. And believe it or not, we have a lot of people who are going through that. Again, oh it's all God. about that mindset thing. It's it all is. about, um, it's all like, Prince Ayala, I'm going to call you out. You know, it's all about that uh, very traditional mindset when it comes to lovemaking and sex. You know, when you tell them, when your wife is driving you, you guys are driving home. My friends, be playing with this dick when you guys are hmm. driving home. When some people hear, they say, ah, ah, you want to kill them, whatever. No, it's all about building up the excitement. Yes. If you guys cannot wait till you get home, park somewhere and do what you have to do and go That's home. That's the best. It's all a prereq, you know, just make sure you don't get arrested or whatever. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, we almost yeah. got arrested one time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are freaking sick, yo. I'm Jeez. scared. I love it. I love no, because it. car sex, I have to say, is one of my favorites. You know, just being a car, yeah, like sick, being though. outside. Okay. But after we got pulled, a cop came onto our window and knocked on our window. I was like traumatized. I was like, never again. <laughs> well, you think the cops don't understand? They understand now. The cops. Oh, they do. He let us go that day, actually. Yeah. It was so do. nice. Yeah. Because he didn't see you know. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because what happened is those. They will have to prove that he saw something. <laughs> <laughs> those are the things we did when we were dating that people stop doing after they get married. Yes. True. You know, True. they're excited. You go out, you can't keep your take your hands away from each other. But once we get right. married, they become all boring. You become complacent. Yeah. You're complacent. You don't want to do those things. No. Yeah. You know, no, it's not it's not the way to go. Keep learning and keep on learning. I've seen Tony, Tony, I see you. Um, we have a lot of things to unlearn about sex and mm -hmm. you know, the demands and as a woman. When your woman tells you, oh, she comes on the group and says, she'll tell her this sex position is great, and she brings it home, and you're calling her a prostitute, a shell. That's mm -hmm. not good. You're going to actually put her a back in her shell, and she's not going to come back out. Guess what? She might have to start. She might start thinking of having that with somebody else. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't know. Because she's human. She's human. Still you one know? with you, but not really. <laughs> Who's calling my name? What did I say now? What? I know. Uh, oh, thank you. Fast. They, they what did I say? All long. <laughs> that person is teasing you because you live sticky. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice yeah, lipstick. <laughs> I love my so, uh, Prince, I'm sure, I'm sure I probably took him out of context a little bit, but it's very, that point was actually much more important than me not taking you out of context. So allow me to risk taking you out of context for a second. He says, love making is more better sex. I know what you guys are saying, but when you... Putting dick in the mouth is not sex 
thank you for saying to you just be aware that you are married to another human being um because that deep love making is all in all because the feeling is deep so the best love making so let's use your lingo the best love making is when you are given you will enjoy it more yes okay so when you go into a sexual relationship with your wife and it's all about what you want what you want remember that what you want is also within the context of your own head there's more outside of that that you actually may enjoy but yeah. because you are what's the word because you are you you're, know, you're stuck stiff. You, you're, yeah. you're stiff you know mm -hmm. relax yeah. learn what she wants let's find out what she wants she's not going to use words she's yeah. not going to use words so you have to Monica. listen to body language so <laughs> semantics we're going yeah. back to semantics yeah. right now so if we really want to use that lingo of love making i am all for it but just the keep in mind is nigerian men are razzed, oh <laughs> my god i'm sorry i love you guys my brother so deep. On here, and this is not gen you know i'm not generalizing but no 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 word it's true we gotta, gotta tell ourselves our you, truth <laughs> you right. gotta be pay attention you know most of them are eager you know and, and you know with all due respect i see my brothers on here i'm sure he's on here tony you're on here so i know they're the younger generation but we have to pay attention a lot of men just want to go in there and satisfy their own urge and whatever yeah. without paying attention to their wives and the body languages and understanding that you know there are certain parts of the body that you kiss why are you saying stop it now what did i yeah. say <laughs> that right, right i'm sorry baby. I know, but, you know it's just what it is you know it's about paying attention again the same we were saying they said if, if you try out an african-american man you probably will never want sex with any other person again because they go all out too okay you know and it's, i guess what i'm saying is in that african-american culture they have understand that it's about give and take and satisfying yes. now let's talk about love making and sex whatever oral sex is also part of love making it's yeah. just how you do it you know it's it's, it's not about just the act mm -hmm. itself but Carry making sure that you're in it, you know, you're, you're sucking your husband's dick. You're not just doing it because I want to do it. It's a skill. No, you want to see. You're also, giving. Mm -hmm, is he feeling it? Okay. You want to assess his body language. You want to look him in the eye and say, baby, you know, I'm doing this for you. Are you feeling me? You know, I'm feeling mm -hmm. you. He should even be turning you on when you're sucking his dick. It's not just about him. Because yes. again, it's about yes. giving and taking. When you're really right. into it, that's why some men they say when they go down on their wives, they go crazy. Like, oh yes. my God, I want it. Yep. Yeah. So, so, so one it. of the questions earlier was, how do you men don't last more than five minutes? They don't last because they don't give. They don't. They you give, you last a lot as long as you want. <laughs> I'm telling you, just right. Don't let me talk to Doctor Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> If you're not giving, you won't last. If you're there to take, you're right. Two minutes, you're done. Because there's only so much you can get from taking, bro. Right, right. You know, and, 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 and men, that's the thing, you know, men love wild women. They, they do. do. They love wild women. They love women who are confident in the bedroom. Yeah. You know, so sometimes as a woman too, just, okay, he called you a shower today. So next time again, try, you know. Twice again. Do it again. Okay. You will eventually be like, okay, you know, okay, okay, this is what's right. happening. You know, he will. Men right. love it. They love a woman who has come into herself. They might not want to say it all the time, but is that's why you hear that I want a lady on the shaking on the outside. Freaking the bed. They mm -hmm. do. They yeah. Do. Yeah. They do because because uh, the idea of a confident woman makes you crave that you wish you had one that can <laughs> give. Love <laughs> love love love. So is that a man? <laughs> Is that a man? <laughs> yeah, man. Don't call your wife a shower. She will give you none. Okay. <laughs> stay, stay, oh. stay with what I'm saying. It's about mental. Okay. Yeah. You can turn her off with your words. Be careful that you are saying a shower after you're inside. Oh, if no. you're outside and you're saying a shower, she may get turned off, bro. Mm. So just keep that in mind. Thank you. Uh, now that we're, we're there, let's talk watch the language. Yes. Okay. Yes. I yes. have a couple who reached out mm -hmm. and um, while they were in the heat of the moment, the husband was like, yeah, give it to me, bitch. And wife was like, huh? Wait, you know? what? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. No, you're wrong. He got carried away. He didn't see it as anything. But wife was like, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I had to tell both of them. I said, you know what? Uh, we got to be careful of the language. Make sure some women might not mind. And so, okay, yeah, I'm your bitch. You know, yes, whatever. So please go with whatever your wife or your husband is. Yeah, you got to pay attention still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
they, 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 um, let me just drive that home. We have a chapter in the book called Communication 2.0. And it's okay. basically 80% listening, you know, right. it's not just just your mouth, you know, it's in every aspect of your life. And if you are in a situation where uh, you can't decide who should listen first, then you, the man, must go first because you're, you're the right. leader. But mm -hmm. everyone should also practice uh, uh, leading. Uh, the princess underscore 12 says lots of married people complain that after kids, their sex lives get boring. What mm -hmm. should they do? That's a good question. It is. And don't feel alone. That's what I would say. Don't feel alone. Um, some people are spelling, be... some people are attempting to spell your legal name here. I don't know why, but. <laughs> don't mind them. They are calling me out, me. You know, I don't know. But they have to understand this is me. And some people might just be seeing me for the first time, like, what the hell? <laughs> Girl, but okay, here. So, um, you're not alone. We all go through it. You know, those kids have a way to just come and just, you know, before the kids, you can make love, fuck anywhere in the house. And anywhere. Um, anywhere. <laughs> Bathroom, basement. Anywhere. You can make all the noise you can make. But now, you know, you're probably, as you're about to bust an O, you know, you have your daughter say, Mommy, I want milk. You know, that kind of thing. They know how to come and mess up the group. But here's the deal. It's about being, um, uh, being determined. Uh, what's that word? Intentional. Being intentional about keeping up with yourself sexually and your sexual appetites, you know, um, you got to plan more. Then when, you know, we used to have this language, you know, we had that understanding that we go to the basement, even if like everybody's here, right? And the kids and everything and we want to, whatever, he will go downstairs and tell me, babe, let's go print something. That's our code language. We go and print something. Okay. Basement. Yeah. Like, like Auntie Shewa. <laughs> <laughs> We go One boss put us you know, that the other time. No, the the wife said that's how they quote themselves. Like Shewa. What, what what is the quote? Shewa. Okay. Yeah, Shewa. Shewa. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know. So you so you gotta have your languages and be intentional about keeping up with it. It's normal. Um, plan around it. Play music in the bedroom. Get the kids to bed on time. You gotta work as a team now. You cannot. Let your wife leave your wife to do everything, care for the kids, cook, there you go. do all of that. You're mm -hmm. sitting there waiting for when she's done. That's not fair. You got to be able to work together, you know, maybe help her get the kids ready for bed or, you know, help her in the kitchen just so that she's a little, uh, takes some pressure off of her. So it needs a lot of intentional, uh, intentionality on the part of both of you to keep up once the kids come because they're, yes, you're right, the kids come in. And they slow things down. Everybody goes through that phase. But we're hoping yeah. that you find that rhythm that makes it work for both. You know, one of the issues that people we found that people go through, we get questions all the time. There's a question uh here that we picked from our DMs um that we, we will try to touch before we leave. But um, you know, we, we one Pardon. of the issues with people is um they, they don't realize that having having sex is remember, remember the word mood, right? You don't really get to control that, you know, yeah. but in some kind of twisted, weird way, yeah. you can control it. You can, mm -hmm. but it goes longer than just this moment. If I'm not in the mood right now, you're not about to turn this mood on and off right now. It's, right. it's way before that. So there is, there's value, there's value that we both get from each other making love. Yes. Having mm -hmm. sex, to use yeah. my brother's language, right? Mm -hmm. So um, there's value. You need to be aware of what that value is. And that value mm -hmm. is what you need to reverse engineer to get everything you want. Okay. There's a reason why you want to have sex or not want to have sex, yes. right? Mm -hmm. There's a reason why you want to get off. You need to be a lot more aware of that, whatever that is, right. than just sex. Mm -hmm. Because we can preach all day long back and forth here that you should just have sex. And my nigga, I'm not having sex because I don't feel like it. <laughs> okay? So right. it's, deep, it's deeper. So somebody says, what if the man is got a big sexual appetite? You know, I want to let you answer that in your own way. But let me just say this. Please sexual appetite yes. is a symptom of other things. There's no one in the world, okay, unless there are medical issues, there's no one in the world that doesn't want to have sexual appetites. Now, appetites can, of course, I'm going to contradict myself, may vary up and down depending on who. But 
But as far as you marry that person, there's very likelihood that you guys are compatible already, but you got into that place of complacency that we mentioned earlier, that we just talked about with kids and stuff like that. But when you know, again, that there's value in making sure that you have intimacy with your husband from time to time and your wife, you will put everything, you put all the effort in it to make sure that you guys don't go past two weeks. For us, if you have uh, three, three months, more than three months, that's a serious issue that you need to there's no marriage. basically, uh, there's no marriage at that point in time. But yes, you're absolutely right that one should start having conversation about it two mm -hmm. weeks. So please go ahead and uh, you already pinned something else. You yeah, remember the question? question? Yeah, so talk about um, the sexual question. appetite. It's very, it's very possible mm -hmm. that one person might have a higher sexual appetite. And I'll yeah. tell you, um, because age, we've talked about that. Age um, difference, right? As people gain weight, the testosterone level. You know what, again? Women, as we age, our freakiness gets higher. I don't know why God made it that way. You know, and vice versa for men. Okay. And it's vice versa for men. You know, it's just what it is. And we can't explain that. But that's why you got to keep on top of it. That's why certain things should not be off limits. That's why, even if you don't feel like penetrating, just give her oral sex. I tell you, it's just to knock off that edge sometimes. Right. That's, that's what she needs. Right. Sometimes. You know, so we it's all about changing the mindset, you know, and uh, and working with each other. Chris, Chris Rock, you know Chris Rock, right? Yeah, Chris Rock, yeah. He said, just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the solution to marriage problems. <laughs> it's, for, it's, for, if it's a healthy marriage. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ano <laughs> says, yes. I saw that question and I'm like, oops, here comes the question. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So hmm. here's the deal, okay? Men, they like tight and wet. Concept. Okay, I'm sure men can. Tight and wet. That. that sounds like, like music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, when women have had babies, like I explained earlier, and it's not as tight as it was, they want a tighter place. Okay, and they start trying to explore anal. Some people they say, "Oh, it's an accident. I had that episode. Oh, it's an accident." Mad, don't dance. I don't like that kind of. Accident. I'll be you. Don't try that. Don't try that shit with me. Exactly. So it's a thing, again, it's a thing of choice. But one thing I know is as long as, because I'm not here to fault whatever you do in your bedroom. But yeah. the point is, um, you also have to look at the health implications sometimes of certain things. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. The, the anus also have has a lot of nerve endings. Mm. And, and we didn't put it there it's gone and we didn't put it there god put it there because now we ask that why, why why did god put sex nerve endings in the anus why is it there there's a bible verse for answer for that too see i, I forgot how they put it that is that not all things are not not things are yes yeah, sorry, sorry excuse is me they said not things are for the something something but all things are there's a way they put that bible verse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 somebody to help us on that um, it's not healthy, <laughs> Chris Ayala. I like. I need to know which Chris Ayala is. You said Chris Ayala. Chris Ayala. You say innocent. Chris Ayala. Chris Ayala says no. Chris Ayala, you're giving yourself away so much. You're conservative. We get the yeah, gist. Yeah. We got the gist. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the thing is, you know, if it's an exploration kind of thing, and people just want to explore, whatever. But honestly, if you really care about your partner. Um, and you read about, you know, what could happen. They could get really loose and then, you know, they can't control their excre excretions anymore ah, down the line. You really don't, do you really want to put her through that? Maybe, right. not, you know, you have to think of those things. Now, let's talk about this twist. Do you know there's something called the prostate massage? Even for men, go for people. For men, let's talk about for men. It's men and women. Oh, you talking about for men? Men. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you see how I just shoot. That's why you can't. That means you. You toss me anywhere around there. You get punched in your nose. There, there, there is no, 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 no. It's not gay. It's not gay. Everybody has that. Uh, uh, the nerve, uh, the sex nerve endings in the. Yeah, it, it, it's it, you know the the old gay thing. You know, uh -uh. again, conservative thing. Conservative people get very irky at this point. Calm yeah. down. Yeah. Calm yeah. down. Yeah. 
Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. If you are, if your husband is in you while it's penetrating, whatever, and you dip your hand into his anus, it can massage the prostate. Hmm. It gives him another sense of high. They okay. cannot explain what it is. Uh -uh. You know, Men don't be wiping their butts with wipes. Okay. No, I know. I mean, both of you are coming into bed. You gotta be clean. I'm now. just saying. Mm -mm. Um, I love my fingers. Some, fish. You got to clean. Some guys like it when you lift them down there on the anus. Right, right. Like, many, many you know, people are, are open you know, to things like that right now. This is what I'm saying. Malala, Malala. This is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You want to get into bed. That's why both of you got to shower and make sure okay. it's clean. Right. You got to clean up. You know, so that there will not be any limitations. Yep. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, "My God, I'm scared." Why are you? Me scared? too. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> let me, let me, let me just help the the men, the men that are here with regards to that. You know, um, you know, it's gonna be. I'm gonna sound like a broken record a little bit. Uh, first of all, you should not be going after a woman's uh, inos randomly. Someone said inos uh, bubble. <laughs> <laughs> inos bubble. I know that person. What have you more money? Yeah, Jesus. I know that handy. Mention your name right now. <laughs> but anyway, um, so you should you should not no one should be not even at the woman's vagina. You should not be heading straight for it, yeah. much less you know. But if you can, there's a certain place you get a woman to. You can put anything inside anywhere. Exactly. Again, you know, if if your husband is do that, maybe you should teach them to calm down. First of all, I'm not doing that. Make that clear that you're not doing that. <laughs> what I'm saying is that a lot of times. Things you say you won't do, you will do when you feel like you've lost your destiny in the middle of the session. And nurses say, no, no. Yeah, that's not you. That's fine. That's fine. Again, there's a, there's a lot of things that women say no, no to, they oh. do when they get to a certain mm -hmm. place. So okay. don't worry about, uh, that's extreme for 2020 still. Yes. We're not in 1962, mm -hmm. but it's still extreme for 2020. But just yeah. be aware that we're going to places oh. in 2030. 2050 mm -hmm. yeah. that's hey you're just gonna be all right because people mm -hmm. are still getting to know themselves yes you are you'll be all right your yes. kids oh my god don't let me yes. start telling you right now what's gonna happen in terms of sexuality people getting to know what's possible and wow. what they can and what they can do their moral compass is changing so you can't just say because jesus said don't do it <laughs> you will not kill me is that is Moyo a man or woman? Moyo is a girl. Oh, girl. My He's my friend. Moyo is crazy. Moyo, that's my crazy friend right there. <laughs> but you made a good point. You, when you're going to bed and you have an idea that it's about to go down, it's not a good idea to hit the shower and clean up. Just make well, it a take point a of duty. together. Yeah. That's nice. Yes. And you know, so everywhere is clean now. Again, you know, don't make it a habit. Let's talk about ways that we can prevent that as a woman there are things that you can do to help yourself in your vagina get tighter mm -hmm. um i like i like i like this comment better well let me make sure i see what okay so we already addressed moyo moyo you'll be mm -hmm. all right um <laughs> stop it i like it you see okay. the oxymoron in that that's sex that's yeah. sex right there there's yeah. no you know you may not be comfortable with something Maybe later, maybe never. It doesn't matter. It really you know, doesn't. You know what? It's scary. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to address, you know, fixing as a woman, getting your vagina tighter, doing your Kegel exercises. There's some balls that we can use right now just to tighten the muscles a little more. Yes. Um, you see, uh, as humans, whatever is good and tastes good becomes addictive. I've had women who started allowing their husbands, you know, and their husbands didn't want to go to the vagina anymore. Yeah, became became all they fun. wanted for four years. So we were again, if it's something it doesn't go to vagina anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's too sweet. It's Back there. Exactly. <laughs> if it's something um random that you guys just wanted to try, yeah, quite all right. But yes, how do we fix it? You can make your vagina tighter. You can work on it. Uh kegel exercises. You know, we we're not gonna go too deep into this, but yeah, there are things that you can do. Google it and say how to make your vagina tighter. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, and you can start. Of, um, you can start with the finger first before you put anything there. Men, I'm talking to men now. Even part of the mm -hmm. cayenne matter, there's a chalk mm -hmm. that they sell that comes with it that you can insert and it makes it tighter. Oh, you are talking about vagina now? That is good. Yeah, to know. Vagina, okay. yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I pers personally, let me talk about me personally. 
I don't really entertain the idea of you know. I, I don't you yeah. know. Um, when you when you're young, you tend to explore things and you know some thoughts cross your mind. But ultimately, you get to know yourself as you grow older in yeah. terms of and what you you know who cares for that. Who yeah. in a help? Very That's where I'm at. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. So, so once, but, once but, the main cocoa is the cocoa, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's not spend too much time on, on you know. Just Kigo know balls, that anything yeah, is totally possible. Kigo balls, yeah. That's the name I was looking for. Yeah, Kigo, 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 Kigo balls. Bad boy, bad boy, Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's your friend, Tony. Tony, you went to college together. Okay, Married he's a bad boy, yeah. definitely. And <laughs> most men don't know what Kigo balls are. They don't. <laughs> know, they right? don't. Yeah. You Unless they watch balls, too much porn, of course. Kigo balls <laughs> are also another exciting thing. If you put it in the woman, and you guys probably go out. Has anybody seen um, this movie, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes. That's what he put inside her, and they went out to dinner and told her not to take it out. She was, she couldn't hold herself. Yeah. We were just happened. talking about that two days ago. Exactly. I said, because we sit down and watch TV in the mm -hmm. evening. I said, imagine you just be on the couch over there. Me, I'm watching TV. We're watching together, but she's always on the couch. Mm -hmm. I'm on the seat. And I said, I'm just pressing the thing. The remote's in my hand. I imagine. said, you and who? I like I'm you, man. Don't mess with me. <laughs> I like but, you, man. But when she says you and who like that, <laughs> I don't get defensive. I just shut up. <laughs> when we... <laughs> When when it's time to try things, you, know, just that, you plant the seed. <laughs> That's right. You That's plant the seed to, yes. and they you let her process it. She will say you and who. Of course, Nigerian girls, you and who what you can <laughs> just plant the seed. You're a king. Be patient. Hmm. Hmm. It's not all of it you accomplish, but you Come accomplish on. more than you think you Come could on. if you're That's just patient. Mindset. That's the mindset right there. Yeah. Yes. You know, nobody be rigid, everybody be open. Communicate. And be Somebody open. said Bluetooth, Lomo. <laughs> See, they have better words for me. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's so beautiful to have both the husband and wife. And that's why I love this show that both of you are on here. Mm -hmm. It's so good to have both the husband and wife be on the same page. It yes. Is. Your wife might not always be open to everything you're bringing. But like you said, lead. If it's the woman that has an idea, leave because you know that you're not going to be judgmental. Let's talk about this for one second. Can we stop being judgmental with each yes. other as a couple? Yeah. It's causing a lot of problems. If it's your true. husband or your wife feels like they cannot confide in you because you're going to judge them based on your own understanding, yeah. you know, then. Which is limited. Own, which is limited and your mm -hmm. own, I was going to go there. Mm -hmm. God bless you your own rigid mindset and your closed mindset. Hmm. They're not going to want to explore with you. Mm -hmm. yes. You know what I mean? They want to explore. If they say, oh, baby, I want you to put my feet up and, and you're like, huh? You are just like that and they refuse to do it totally. Then after a while, they stop trying with you. But yes. God bless you. Let them fall into the hands of somebody that's willing to give it to I've had marriages that have broken up. Yes. Yeah, the man stepped out and he Blatantly told his wife, he said, I'm se sexually compatible with this other person. Wow. Whoa. Yes. And that's real. That's as real wow. as it gets. He well, wrote me, you're going to say now. Nah. Oh, yeah. Actually, oh, one of yeah. my mom's <laughs> friends, like with the older generation, I feel like, you know, this is even worse. If we still have our own generation struggling with this sex issue thing, mm -hmm. um, the husband just called her up and said, look, my wife going to the bathroom shower because when I get home I just want to eat your pussy. Ooh, and she was like, eh? I <laughs> <laughs> And this one, well, well. Now, my question to you is when you're fasting, can you have sex? Why she not? says she's not a pastor. No, she's not a pastor, <laughs> but I just want to hear her perspective because she's maybe the talk. pastors in the house she's can help us. Talk. <laughs> when you when you when you break your fast, you can fast. You can you can have. Oh, so things. you can do it during fast. During the fast, no. The, the reason of fast, okay, and fasting. I go through a fast every beginning of every month. Um, and what I do is I go from, and I'm sharing this. I go from Thursday to Saturday, and I don't eat anything. And I, um, this is a physical and a spiritual act for me. Um, fasting is 
you're just this is discipline. It's telling your body that I can hold off on things. So right. Those things that the point. my body, you know, it's just leave, teaching yourself a new level of discipline. Then at the end of it all, I lose some weight. My body detoxifies. My organs detoxifies. It wow, nice. Me. Now, let's bring that to the spiritual part of fasting. During the time of fasting, you're mm. holding and saying, you know what? I can. I can hold off. I can focus on my spirituality at this time. Right. And then after you break your fast, you can, of course, fuck. And mm -hmm. then the next day again, you hold up. See, uh, my, my Muslim brother said, yes, you can have sex after you break your fast. With your wife. Yes. After mm -hmm. you break. Hey, dog, we can have a break now. My husband does not believe it. It'll be like, bro, we are one. <laughs> yeah. That's what I remember. No, 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 no. That's what I remember one. we are one. No, you are one, but you still want to. You're still good <laughs> to actually build each other up spiritually. During yeah, that yeah. time. Because sex is very distracting. Before sex, before the act, let's bear it, before the act itself, you're already thinking of different or holy things you want to do to each other. Mm -hmm. It already takes away from the fact that you're fasting. Right. Now that we're talking about this, do you know I heard somebody told me that Muslim culture, or as Muslims, if you don't uh, have sex with your wife in 30 days, she can file for divorce. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah Muslim, yes. I had no idea. Wrap. Yes. It's around, you don't have a marriage anymore. We you say don't have a marriage. We say three wow. months. Based, based on law and all that, we say three months. Once once it's three months, you know, you, uh, you know, like let's not just be deceiving, ourselves. deceiving ourselves. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try to attract your husband back. And I want to address that actually in a second in terms of people that have a spouse that already shut off, because it's easy and sweet to say that oh let's just communicate when one when, when you are both still there. But a yeah. lot of people have a spouse that's, that's already shut off They're completely. Checked out. They yeah. checked out already. So yeah. I want to address that. But yes, you know, we say once it's three months, the person is checked out. You haven't had sex in three months. You know, all bets are off. You should not hold yourself hostage. Life is so short, right? Yes, it is. And, uh, but of course, we always encourage people to work on themselves right. first so you can attract the kind of love you deserve and desire because if you go and jump into another relationship yeah. um you're probably carrying 50 percent of the issues into that new situation yeah. and it's yeah. probably going to be worse and yeah. it, of course it all looks sweet in the beginning right of course right. remember you're human and it's exciting in the beginning but it's probably going to be worse so it's always better to first of all work on yourself okay. so that you can have enough self-worthiness so you can attract what yeah. you want now let's right. talk about people that that have situations uh, with a spouse that's already shut off. Um, you know, it, it's, it can be different for men to women or women to men. Yeah. Some, like somebody asked a question earlier, the sexual appetite thing, it could be a man that's already shut off. Yeah. Uh, or it could be her, she's shut off, she hasn't really come to the conclusion that she's shut off. Yeah. She's just realizing that she doesn't want to do it with him, mm -hmm. right? Now, we always address the person that's complaining. We don't worry about the person that's not complaining. So if the yeah. person has shut off, we don't worry about them. We worry about you and how yeah. you can attract that person back is what we focus on. So yeah. we don't get into bashing the person or they are wrong. That doesn't help anything, mm -hmm. you know. So with that being said, if a person uh, is, quote unquote, single now, based on the definition we just gave you from the Islam brothers, yeah. right? And they're still married, they have kids, and uh and sex is dried up in fact we have a person that's that we're still going back and forth in the that i promised her we would talk about this Did, right. did I send it to you? but i promise okay yeah. you can open the dm um you know we promise that we'll talk about this essentially our husband has shut off completely okay. from her and the last time they had i'm not going to mention her name but she's probably hanging out um April 4th was the last time. So it's not up to 30 days yet, but it might as well be 30 days. April 4th. Yeah. That's a long time ago. That's like... already past 30 days. It's five, oh, that's like 50 years ago in my mind. April right. 4th is a long time ago, you know? Mm -hmm. So they haven't... But but she's found herself that she's giving too much attention. You know, rejection breeds obsession. Yeah, it does. So mm -hmm. how would you advise this person? Obviously, their issue is bigger than sex. Absolutely. But. Um, and that's why in the beginning we mentioned and talked about a healthy marriage. You know, we can, um, there might be some relationship that's not healthy, but then they have a healthy sex life. I know a couple like that who everything else was horrible, but when they had sex, it was banging. And that kept them together for years. Yeah. So they eventually broke up. Okay. Now, if hmm. you have a couple who.
who um, this is happening, one of the first things is, and I think she realizes it, is realizing there's a problem. And that and it has to be both of you realizing there's an issue. It cannot be one person who's saying, oh, things are not okay. And mm -hmm. I keep bringing it up and he keeps saying, and there's nothing wrong. I'm okay. You know, right. I'm just tired. I, can't, I, I might just be masking. So you really want to get to the nitty gritty of what's going on with the other person. Sometimes people might think, oh, it's actually something to do with me. Maybe my marriage, whatever. Maybe they're going through personal issues. Maybe he's going through something he's dealing with. That he oh, no. I, know, I have more to the story. I just... Okay. Uh, uh, there's a young... The guy has a young younger star that he started dating after the fact. You know. He goes out of town to work. You know, I'm trying to remember now. Please. Give, send know. her to me. Let's give her some Kayamata. If she can get him in. So <laughs> you can get him get back him. in. <laughs> All right. That's her property now. So, oh, so it goes back to attraction. She needs to work on some attraction to attract okay, him back. Yes, again, again, it might also be, but it, it's still saying she needs to figure out what's going on. Has he been complaining prior to that? Because if he has not been complaining, then it's not fair. Because some men might not say anything and then they just hook up with somebody and that's it. And they've lost the attraction to the woman and they never said anything. You know, as he been saying something and you've been ignoring it because again exactly. we, just, we become complacent and we take each other for granted. As he been telling you, babe, you know what, you know, work on this and work on that. Again, this is where I say if you really love your woman, then you do it together and encourage her and not just expect her, okay, weight gain is one of the most easiest thing to do, but have to lose weight. You know, um, again, it's all in the mind and how you think about your wife and all of that. So mm -hmm. have, you been, have, have you been ignoring what he's been saying? If that's the case, how do we draw him back in? Um, we cannot let him go because if you do let him go, then you might never be able to recover that marriage again. Right. Um, if you need to see a counselor, please see a professional counselor. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing Africans don't do. Mm. We don't do professional counseling, but that might be what we need. And please don't go to your pastor's. No, exactly. I'm sorry, guys. What's the beef with pastors? Kate? I don't know. It's your, not a beef. It's, it's not, not a beef. beef. Your pastors are not. They are not equipped. They are not equipped. Okay. They, yeah, they are not. They are I, I, I agree 100. percent One of my yeah. beef. I have serious beef with pastors, and they know it. I'm a keyboardist player. I'm a keyboardist in church. It's a church so boy. I'm always there. I'm a church boy, yeah. wow. and they know. They can see it in my face right here <laughs> that I have beef with them. Um, they, 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 they. they they don't know that there's that the best place to be as a teacher is to be a student. Mm. They they really think they they figured it out. So when people mm. bring you real life issues to them, they have nothing to say other than just another Bible verse that's yeah. been regurgitated over and over again. Yeah. And, and that pisses me off. Help. Because they, I you see... know what they do? They don't shrink the source. They just band aid, put band aid over. It. Let's just yes. Lock it yeah. up. Realize they're forgetting that these people are yeah. human. So right. please, please, please. Uh, forget the ego please let's seek professional counseling professional. you might have to be the one that would have already paid for it and say you know what babe let's just go talk he mm -hmm. might actually talk in front of the council do everything right. you can now yes. here comes the difficult conversation it's a choice he made to cheat on you yes um, cheating is a decision mm -hmm. sometimes you might be able to help him sometimes you may never be able to help him out um and this is where i say and this is one of my passions You've got to be able to look out for yourself at this point. Um, after you've tried everything, you've reached out to professional counseling, whatever, then you might have to, you've prayed, done all of that, and he still insists he wants to be what he wants to be, then, hey, you got to start looking out for yourself. You might That's have right. to have difficult yeah. conversations. We run away from difficult conversations as a people. We should be yeah. afraid mm -hmm. of having to sit him down, sit his ass down and say, hey, you, okay, is mm -hmm. it? are you going to make a decision? Do you want to pick? That's, that's one of the things we're afraid of doing. We don't want to risk, oh, I don't want to risk my marriage. But listen, what is the hmm. marriage when your husband is already with somebody else on the outside? There's exactly. No that's not there's a marriage. Let's not, no. not deceive ourselves. Let's, let's come right back on because there's a very tough conversation oh I want us to have right now. What? We just hit that one hour again. Let's come. Everybody come right back on. Oh, my God. something I want to share with you that's very personal. Okay. We'll be right back. All right, sis. Welcome hey. back. Hi. Sorry, we're taking all your energy today. It's okay. <laughs> so, so here's a, you know, when we went through a, a crisis, a marriage crisis, um, one conclusion that we came to is that we, it's okay for me and my wife not to be together tomorrow. Huh. It's okay for us not to be together yesterday. Hmm. 
it, all that matters is now. Yeah. Okay, so there is no promise of tomorrow. Just like in life, huh. there is no promise of tomorrow. And people tend to forget that when you know. Well, many people don't learn that we're supposed to be together forever, especially yeah. men. Uh, women kind of like go with their flow. If they're not feeling yes, it, they're not. Know. You know, mm. they, they said I do at the hotel, no, <laughs> but. They didn't really mean it. It's based on the feeling in that moment. <laughs> right? But when a man says, I do, right? Listen, some people are missing out right now. Some people are coming in late. Let's, let, let, me, let me stylishly wait for them, you know, to okay. make sure they... Because it's very, very important. Because people get obsessed yeah. with the ideologies they learn. Mm. When they, you know, I always say people that say, I do, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not your fault. It's just not possible to know what the hell you're doing mm -hmm. when you allow a person into the innermost part of your very being, your yeah. soul, and you trust in them with your life, essentially, yes. right? Mm -hmm. and, and you say, oh, yeah, because we're in it together. And then you got sucked into that combiner all together, and then you're supposed to be together forever. Yeah. And I'm saying a man really, really gets sucked into that. On the surface, they say, ah, you know, I have side cheek, I do it, but you're all they, they don't, they want that situation to last forever. Men they care. Don't lose, they don't want to lose their marriage. They don't, they want, don't want to lose their marriage. To. Men care about their legacy when it comes to family, their children holding the home together. And that has nothing to do with cheating on their wife. Zero. Complete different worlds. They want to freaking eat their cake and have it. And have it. I, I told my it's wife a long happening. time ago, I want to eat yeah, my it's cake. Not Yes. And have it too. Uh, cut off my that, that, that's goodness. my reality. Okay, well, right. there's some things, but you cannot want to cheat on me. And right. this is where I get, it gets really tricky. I mean, you guys are bringing out the monster in me and you don't want it. We came here to <laughs> please, talk about please. Sex, okay? So, you cannot want to have a side chick as a man mm -hmm. and expect your wife to stay faithful to you. Okay. And this is where I say, mm -hmm. look, polygamy is, an, is a human nature. It's not a man thing. Yeah. We are all polygamous in nature. All of us can listen. have multiples if we want to. If but, you get us to a place. Listen, I like uniform men. I like men in uniform. I, I can't oh. believe it. In fact, I hope... in fact when, when a police officer pulls me over, I'm like flirting, like, okay. I run a, I run, I run a security <laughs> company. There's a bunch of them. Oh, really? Okay, we'll talk after the show. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, you know, it's polygamy is. It's a, it's, it's a human nature. It's, it's not a man thing. This is where we need to start getting some things clear. Okay? Right, you right. cannot want to have side cheeks and say, oh, it doesn't mean anything and expect my wife is going to stay faithful. She's only deciding to stay faithful because she wants to stick to that. Right. Whatever you guys have. The yeah. commitment she made to you. We mm -hmm. all, listen, don't, don't be deceived. Your wife, yeah. they call on her outside. She gets okay. on her outside. But it's, it's, serious. It's, it's what it is. If yeah. you're close to your woman, she'll come back home and tell you, even if you see what I saw today, and you That's know, you're right. like, you know, you guys talk about it. It's not a threat. But yeah. women, they hit on your wife. They they call her. They holler. Yes. Her, they do whatever. So everybody desires it. It's just a decision you got to make. We and all know it's sense. boring. We yeah. know it's boring to be mm -hmm. with the same person for years and years. Yes. I was married 18 years, so I yes. know what I'm saying. But the thing is, this is where. You both have to work together. You both have to maintain mm -hmm. as much individuality as possible. Let your yes. partner be themselves. Let her go on her girl's trip. You go on Let them be themselves. Trip. Because what happens is when we come together, we feel like we are we own each other. Okay, I own you. So you cannot go on vacation with your boys. You can't go on vacation with your girls. And everybody, after a while, guess what happens? Everybody gets bored. Yes. We get, bored. We, get we can grow apart. That's now let's not let's not be let's not be delusional, Moyo. Let's not be delusion are here okay <laughs> you yourselves you women will judge yourselves if you do that okay i love you Moya, Moya, you got a lot <laughs> you yourself eh? you will judge yourself the society doesn't allow for that equality leave thing. that alone leave that alone leave that that thing. anyway Okay. Let me get back to what, what we, I was saying. <laughs> what we Let talk me get about back. Yeah, what yes. we're saying. What we mm. talk about these you men, you guys start shaking. You start shaking your because you can't handle it. Here's the thing. Let <laughs> me help my let me help my fellas. Let me help my fellas a little go bit. Go ahead. I'm yeah. listening. First of all, okay. <laughs> we go into that. We were trained at the society. Somebody said, let God judge us, my brother. 
we, we go, we go, you know, us men we were raised to go into society to, is a man's world, right? But slowly, but, <laughs> but, but let, let me finish now. Slowly, but surely that's, that's reversing, you know, clearly, okay. slowly, but surely that that's not the case anymore. But a lot of men live their life subconsciously like that. That's where they hit your kick and have it think. Like nobody is saying, I'm just going to go cheat. No, it's just that subconsciously it's okay. They want to see if you still got it. A lot of times that's the case. Like like a woman, uh, not a typical woman. We all want to see if we still got it. Okay. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. It's not it for tax now. <laughs> Please you. Oh, you said that. Okay, you said that. What's up? I love her so much. I'm up. Suruni. Suruni. Right? Right? So I think, I think, I think all, I think men should just know, just know that it's okay today. Just make sure, both men and women, but I'm talking to men in particular. Yeah. Make sure you're your best self, self today. And by the way, if your partner says it's no more tomorrow, Oh. Right. First of all, understand that there's always a possibility of that. Oh. It does two things. It does two things. Yeah. It makes you know. It makes you prepare yourself and know that you do have options. Yes. yes. Man or woman, you have options. Yeah. You Everyone choose. Does. You choose to be here today. Hmm. You don't get to choose for how to be here tomorrow. I love it you. May, right? It, it may not you. work out like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But when you when she knows that you know that you got options. Yeah. You see, a woman no, that no, all our way. <laughs> or vice versa. Or vice versa. No, 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 no. <laughs> when we both know and understand right. that we have options. Right. But we just choose to be together and keep make this work. Things yes. will work. It's but better. we come from that understanding that mm -hmm. a man can do this while culture or society does not accept it. But what you guys are not realizing is mm -hmm. times have changed. We're okay. no longer in the times of our mothers. Listen. All right, man. And the thing is, men think their kings are cheating. You don't want to meet a woman that cheats. Back. Yeah, I said that on uh, um, two sessions ago, and there's a gentleman, you could tell clearly that it's from the older generation. generation. <laughs> uh, I said, women cheat better, and they know how to do better. We don't know how to lie. That's why I said it's subconscious for us when yeah. men do that. It's very subconscious, because yeah. it's not because we're going to be best at hiding this stuff. We're actually horrible at hiding any, anything, you know. <laughs> so, but you know, real talk. This, these are the real talk that that we need to have. We're, we're not. Having. Yes. We're not saying you should get stuck in the situation. We want you to understand there are seven billion people in the world. It's in fact a beautiful, hmm. beautiful first thing to have a person next to you that you choose to be here. It's in mm -hmm. fact a beautiful. So let's yeah. not be delusional. Those that think single life is better. No, neither is better. Yourself is better when you yeah. know yourself. Yes. First. Yeah. If you decide, if you decide to now share that with the person, remember you're sharing. You're not yes. taking from them. Mm -hmm. If you now decide to share with them, it's even that much, much more better. Yes. But let's not be delusional. We're we're social beings. We need yes. companionship. We need yes. com we all companionship. Do. We all do. Everybody needs it. That's Everybody's going why... crazy right now in quarantine. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> that's, you know? that's why we find that okay, you have a divorce or you get separated. Give yourself another six months you're already desiring to be with somebody else that's how we were created again we all just need to find a healthy way to keep moving when you get married you don't own each other let's get away from that mm, mindset none of you right. own the other person you are both coming together as a union and try to maintain as much individuality in that union you know um there's no big deals so let her go with her friends and come back home Five yeah. days after three, let him go with this guy. It's all about trust and making sure you guys are okay, Back. you know, yep. and not feeling like you know what you're stuck. You're the the pressure of the marriage is on you. You gotta yeah. be the one praying. Hell right. no, I'm right. not gonna waste my time praying. We gotta pray together. Okay, you know? exactly. <laughs> I'm tough. sorry, and, I, and you know this might sound a little um uh, again. This is where I offend people because some mm. men are totally traditional men. Yes. Mm. The bulk of you know holding the home together is it traditional man or the Raz one? Which one? Raz, the Raz, the Raz one, you know, they 
the bulk of the home sometimes of keeping the home yes yes as much as we hate to admit it might lie on the woman why because we have a lot of wisdom to keep the home going women are wiser than men Fact. we have more wisdom than men it's just what it is what Fact. a man will come in and say scatter the whole place do one be like babe you know calm down let's do yeah this. because it's that not way. physical it's not about like, your physical abilities yeah exactly yes. so yeah i get that but if we also have that understanding that you know what this is a choice keeping or making my marriage work is a choice it's a choice you got to put together loving a what person is a choice doing? yeah if you whatever it is you're not doing with your wife and you're thinking that oh your wife is like the days of your mother and she's gonna stay faithful you might be in for a oh, your it's doing better Continue. Continue. because you know what your mothers did not have social media uh -oh. Your mothers were not exposed to men from different parts of the world. Even married women now, if you know how many proposals you get inside your inbox, I'm not saying go and have your high blood pressure now because of what I'm saying here. I know, but right? it's just the fact. It's right. the fact of the matter. A friend of mine shared with me that, <laughs> and she might actually be listening. So um, one of our old school friends connected with her, and he was talking, and she, the guy was getting too comfortable, like, you know, I we went to this school together, blah, 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 blah. A husband who's not into social media that much, after my friend went to sleep, I was going to respond to the guy that I was your problem. In your life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so gone are the days. What your wives have access to now, your mothers do not have access to okay. it. Okay. So Facts of life. If you're slacking in your game, if you're slacking in what you should do as a man, in the attention, what you're supposed to give, and you're saying, oh, because culture does not allow it, you are in for a long thing. You hmm. probably would have lost that which culture now. the village culture i believe global village culture oh, which I one i don't know what they're thinking <laughs> honestly I, yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah def definitely uh th that's those are some really cool points we extracted uh yeah. men men should just uh the whole point there is like you just said it's not for you to catch blood pressure uh, high blood pressure the point is that relax yeah relax learn, learn get get everybody learn the game of seduction if you're in a yeah. marriage Thank uh, you. vice versa learn it uh it's it makes your marriage fun when you, when yeah. there's a chase yeah if you're chasing each other the problem yeah. is that we stop chasing each other after marriage so the person that says uh kids yeah kids is kind of medical uh situation biological issues going on there so that's also patience a person that understands seduction understands patience so they yeah. understand to exercise patience at that point but I can't finish the whole topic of seduction. We can't finish it here. Go pick up a book on seduction. There's a lot more into it than you knew. It's not about toasting a person or mm -hmm. shooting your shot, right? It's about, it's about, Prince, my, it's mind Prince game. Ayala is talking to you. Oh, he always got something to say, you know? Let's see what he got to Prince. say. <laughs> no, I, I I just pinned it. I, I definitely gotta address that because I like. Thank you for hanging out by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I know he's good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you know him personally? I don't. I think I know him. I think I know. Oh, okay. I think he's, so I want to use the name. No, no, no. I'm a Facebook fan. Yeah, okay, Facebook. Facebook. Fan. Okay, okay gotcha. No, we got we gotta address it. But yeah, the point is just relax. Yeah. Today, eh? This is not something you are practicing sex only. Just in life, eh? Just relax, eh? As mm -hmm. a king. Definitely, you need to have to practice how to relax. Okay, so he goes, this, this it. Having a side dude is nothing but one thing that a man can cheat and still love his wife. Sorry. If a woman cheats, she's no more in love with a man. But that's true. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm. You don't agree. Those mm. are the misconceptions we are trying to change. Okay. You people don't believe that women. No, it's typical. <laughs> oh, we're, we're talking typically speaking. Not everybody. Okay. Bros, bros. Are you okay. saying women, every woman are just cheating everywhere bro, and still bro, loving their husband? Hey, you should fuck Joe. I'm telling you, wait. Well, yeah, you. Okay, call one. Well, no longer okay. you. I beg, <laughs> teach us. You people should wake up. Wake bro. up. <laughs> now everybody loves each other and can still go out and come back and still love mm -hmm. each other. Out. Uh, you yes. know, me, I'm not saying just in case somebody comes in here and wonders what's going on, what's the show saying. Listen, I like to be practical, I like to be right. realistic, right? right. Mm -hmm. We are away from the times when we feel like everything is gender bias. There's only men that are mm -hmm. that can do this and can have side chicks. Listen, do you know the norm now? And I, let's really talk about it since we're talking about it now. The norm mm -hmm. now is we have married men, man, cheating with married women. Yes. That's a norm now. Yeah. Yes. That's a norm now. Because they, 
Then definitely. So, so we're all loving each other. <laughs> <laughs> Because what is happening is, and, and check this out, check this mm -hmm. out, let's break it down. Yeah. The reason a married man can come in contact with a married woman and connect is because they're missing something on both sides. Mm -hmm. They might not want to admit it. Yes. yes they facts. might not want to admit it. But when yes. they come together, something, something is something missing. Connected, there's mm -hmm. something that both of them, they're like, mm, you know what, I like this person. Oh my God, I'm feeling this person. Mm -hmm. Because something. So that's why we cannot afford to let go we cannot afford to keep chasing one another we cannot afford to keep learning and educating and unlearning and right. doing things we used to do go on vacations we can you don't have to go out of the state or country right. you can have a staycation you can take right. the kids, take the kids right. to someone and go for the weekend alone those are things that we got to keep going because listen if you have a side dude or a side chick mm -hmm. okay those are the things you guys do that spices up that relationship Yes. Yeah, Which relationship? Person. Which one of the two? The, the side, side, the side dude. The side or the, the side relationship or the, the side relationship. One? It's okay. exciting because they keep things going. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? They go on vacation. They they meet to fuck. They are texting each other. They are sexting mm -hmm. each other. Right. They always keep it exciting. Meanwhile, mm. the marital relationship has lost all those vibes. Let me ask you a yes. question. That. Yes, sir. Do you think there's a place? I have a biased, uh, predetermined answer in my mind. Just when you was like, do you think there's a place for masculine and feminine energy in relationship till today? Yes. Okay. So, yes. so, so I wanted to make sure we're clear on that, so that you don't. You are right. I agree with you 100 percent that mm -hmm. anyone can be in any one of those. I love you, me love you. I'm just in love. Anybody. It could be man. It could be woman. It doesn't matter. But you're not mixing that up with, you still need to have a man in order for you to like this person as a woman. Is that what you're saying? Or where does that fit? Explain your own understanding of the dynamics between masculine and feminine energy in a relationship. Um, there's, this thing that, there's this thing that men are natural hunters, okay? Men will be the one that like to chase. Men yes. like to chase, even though, like I said, they are still because times are changing. Times are changing. So now, people women, are proposing. Women are doing the chasing. Yeah. People are proposing. Okay. I see. Men are loving, loving the chase. And some men are loving the chase. So <laughs> you see, now we cannot, things are no longer traditional. Or like mm. I can say, yeah, masculine energy and feminine energy, yeah, they have its place. But you know, again, when we do consider how we're going with the times, times are changing. You just right. said it. Some men too love the chase. So men enjoy it. Meanwhile, in the back in the back in the days, if it happens, that's a big turn off. And mm -hmm. there's some men what that, that it turns off now. So right. it's just coming, having that understanding. Let's come back now and say, mm -hmm. let's have this understanding that mm -hmm. this we both need to work on this and making it work. Yes. Forget the days and say because what happens is because men have this preconceived notion that a woman naturally, culturally, society would not agree, blah 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 blah. It mm -hmm. gives them this certain confidence that they can go out and do whatever, forgetting that, no, I'm uh, saying times have changed. Mm -hmm. Your wife might not even know or have mm -hmm. intentions of actually cheating on you, but because she got a little, when you were not there, somebody came in to feel that attention. Attention. Right. She got attention. It's a, it's a, it's a possibility. Side niggas. It's, it's, it, 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 it should always be a possibility, but let's keep things, let's keep something in perspective. If yes. a man is out there, and he's out there with a side chick, right? Um, he doesn't care if you're with something in, in the house. He really doesn't care. That's really what it comes down to. You can knock yourself out with a lipstick or a grown human being or anything like that. He doesn't care, right? Hey, some men are jealous of lipstick. So, so. No, no, I know. But, 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 but my point is that Prince Ayola is making a point here, uh, which is when men are out there with another woman, I tell you, he is thinking about his own trust and belief. Why is he out there with another woman? Listen, he's, let, let me explain. He's speaking. He's, listen, listen. That's the question that women ask and they're confused about. Mm. You know, um, that how, how can you claim you love me and you're with another woman? Am I right? Women ask that question all the time. Men are able to do it. Uh -huh. I get it. They're saying they can love two at a time. No, 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 no. Wait, no, no. I don't agree with that. Hey, I don't agree they will that. tell you they will tell you they love the woman on the outside some people keep if they don't some people that have side chicks for years mm -hmm. will not keep them for years 
But here's the deal. What is what I'm trying to say now. Mm -hmm. Women too can think about their homes and still have somebody on the outside. No, no, wow. I agree. I agree with that 100%. What husbands? Wait, wait. Okay. I, <laughs> I, 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 I agree with that 100% that women can. But a typical woman, right, if she look, I'm talking about a married woman. A typical woman who is married to a person that, not a NGO, somebody they love, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For them to check out and be in that kind of world, which is not the safest lifestyle to live, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more that comes with that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, I don't want to get into, oh, you can get pregnant, I can't get pregnant. I, I'm, telling, I'm talking about the naive ones of them, right? I'm not talking about the person that does it every day. No. You're just I'm speaking talking for about, your brothers, so like, I, I'm, Wait, and, let and me I finish. What you're saying. I'm, I'm talking that a typical woman, I... I just from talking to a few of them over and over, they, 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 they don't want that. Then the other thing I wanted to talk about is the masculine feminine thing. A typical woman, not all women, again, a typical woman still want to feel like my man is a man and not a bitch. Am I correct on that or not? You are wrong. Come on, be a man at home. You don't have to be a man. No, no, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about men to go and cheat. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about just, just being a man. Like if okay, you're. Okay, we're just if, talking about feminine. Just in general, I'm talking about yeah. the feminine. Man. Yeah, you that's know, the second and, point. And, and this is where I'm. Feminist, Am I correct on that? You are correct. Okay. I right. am feminist. Okay, and there are some feminists who come to you at you and say, "What a man can do, a woman. A woman still wants to feel loved and protected by." I feel husband. safe. Well, I feel safe, and you know, okay, man is there. My husband, I can call him for stuff. Or when a car breaks down. I can call him and he's there or he can tell right. me what to do. We still want to feel that feeling mm -hmm. of protection, of being protected. Right. Yes. I don't take that away from you all. And honestly, if you want to ask me, mm -hmm. um, I come from the school of thought that a marriage institution, like any institution, must have a structure to function. And yes, we have the head, we have the shoulders, whatever we want to call it. Neck. We have the neck, whatever. You want to call it some people, I'd say no, they're partners. But hey, again, it has to have a structure. Right. As a man, you've got to be able to lead. But then you cannot, you have to have the qualities of a leader to lead. Mm -hmm. You cannot, there's some That's things right. that a leader you, you must do. Yes. You have to carry yourself a certain way. If yes. you're telling me you're leading your home, but then all the time she has sex with different women, you're mm -hmm. definitely losing some character. No, that's not a leader. Of a yeah. leader. You're not a leader. That's not so, a leader. yes, for you to be termed as a leader, for you to protect your family, you've got to have those characteristics. As that's a right. Leader then that woman yeah. will succumb to you. See, that's why I don't like talking about this submission thing. Because yeah. a woman will naturally submit to yes. a man who shows her true love and shows that, hey, I have the qualities yep. of the leader. We're not out to just Rich. naturally object to everything you say as a man. No. Right. As long as you've shown me In that fact, she wants to submit. But, you, submit. but she can't find herself submitting to your egotistical ass. Uh -uh. <laughs> behavior. Right, yeah, right. Exactly. Right. So that's my point. We just all have to understand. You don't know how much I love you a lot. I love, I'm just meeting you for the first time. Actually, to be honest, I was very uncomfortable at first because I didn't know what kind of setting it was going to be. I'm not religious. I'm not, oh, me? I'm not religious in any way. I want to be able to speak my mind. Okay. So I start jiving with you guys for 10 minutes. I'm like, well, hey, not my people, oh. people right here. You know? Are we back on? Can you hear me? Huh? We're not religious too. You can hear us, right? You guys are not religious at all. That's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. After five minutes, I could already place where you guys were. I'm like, okay, I want your mille lady. No, to be, to be clear, I actually hate religion with a passion. <laughs> it was God. <laughs> You know, I, I have all kind of scars over my body. Religion is 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 just straight up the devil. There's no way. There's no need to hang out on the fence about religion. Or no, ah, religion have some people. Please, just... who is this Uncle Diola Di Lion? I want to see who is Uncle Diola Lion. Uncle Diola, <laughs> eh? Uncle Diola Lion. Who is that? Is that your family? I I, I have to figure out who it is. I don't know. You know in all in all this stuff, you have not put polygamy into consideration because some men married four wives and still love. Them. Okay, yeah, let me let me talk about that because we did talk about that on the previous episode. Uh, and and uh, my understanding of that is that there's there's a difference, there's a fundamental difference between being in love with a person, oh, yeah. meaning you're attracted to a person and loving a person. Okay, you can love your sister, 
meaning you just love them they're there you don't have sex with them right yeah. so is it possible to have four wives and love them yes but even back then in the days you know we're only two generations yeah. away from 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 poly, polygamy right <laughs> yeah. those baba my grandfather had an ayu they had a favorite of course, of course. among his six wives uh -huh. at any point in time and even after the six wife, he has concubines everywhere. Imagine. And I was just, they were just telling me a story a few days ago that he wanted to marry another one at the age of 80 something. And the children were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the idea that you can love in terms of in love four people at the same time, no, it's an oxymoron. It doesn't make sense. You can't be in love with two people. You're spending time and you are infatuated about one person at a time you're spending most of your time it takes a lot of energy here's to be into it with a person like, you've addressed it here's mm -hmm. what i want to say mm -hmm. being polygamous is more about just filling a void with each different person that's it and that's why i try to say it's a human thing do you think if i can have one man that will be all you know taking care of my financial needs on the side and have one that gives me the best fucking ever on the side. Okay. And have one that has oh. six packs that I can take anywhere and take pictures with on the side. I won't do it as a woman and nobody judges me. I'll, I'll do it. it. Yep. Yep. The only thing that makes a difference is the society and culture kind of backs men it up does. more to do it openly and legally. Yes. Yes. Okay. And that's, so that's the, and that's the key word. Openly. Openly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and still be able to defend it. Yes. I love my wife. Mm -hmm. I love that. You, know? <laughs> you love your wife doesn't mean anything you love your sister too right because i heard some people were saying that earlier I, I love my wife yeah i get it remember it's just word and semantics and all of that yeah. remember but, but yeah. loving your wife in, in in terms of giving to her that's another level entirely too yeah. right so we can use the love and throw it around all day long some people say love is not enough for marriage yes it's always enough it depends on your definition of Love. Oh, love if you have bastardized the meaning of love meaning oh i give i'm not getting to take again it's a give and take it doesn't work like that so love is not mm. then, then you have a problem but if mm. you understand that love means giving mm. then then it's always enough because with giving comes patience it's in your bible now mm. it's with giving comes patience it right yes. so and when i say patience I, I don't mean i've waited two days and she hasn't forgiven me yet it means <laughs> indefinitely <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. you have to be generous with yeah. it you have to you have to be okay with that person may never come back to you again mm -hmm. you have to have self worthiness understand if they don't come back to you smile you'll be a little, a little bit arrogant to yeah, your head that fine. that's that's her loss that's yeah. his loss yeah. yeah if you're not doing that they cannot be attracted to you if you're not exuding that kind of energy right obviously they won't be attracted to you people want something that everyone else wants you know it's a man's world Diola, i don't know who you are leave me alone yeah, like, like, you know the sad part of it is that we you must admit know it. i don't want to hear that i know you know it's that, slowly that... becoming a woman's world but i'm telling yeah, so... you but here's why we should here's why we should be careful and i'm not agreeing with him 100 percent. but you should be aware because mental is part of this right there are right. people that judge themselves even yeah. even with the same society that we're trying to discard society yeah. is very powerful influence on us it is. you know so just understand it yes it's a man's word and i didn't say it. it's women that say it, that we use to judge themselves the most even men don't judge mm. women that much you're deep you're deep <laughs> be aware <laughs> we keep going if we need to talk about this you're deep yeah. yeah so 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 please don't go out here and act like uh i'm a man and i can fuck anything out there and then you not judge yourself and you're not nobody will judge it's only you that will judge yourself be careful I think it's best to find a companionship in a person that's willing to give into you that you're willing to give into yes. indefinitely yes. for life yes. because it's the safest form of living. Okay. Let me see. That's why you can even love your side chick. No, nonsense, Prince. Oh my gosh. Prince. You don't love side chick now. Is this lion? Okay. I think I know what this is. Side chick, you don't love your uh, chick chick then you don't love your wife maybe you married your wife with pity uh, pity or not you know these things are very uh obvious you know things these things are these things we only have 24 hours in a day my friends man i know we need to be rounding up one hour in a reach yeah we've been uh, i know we got, we got about there. 30 more minutes we got 30 more minutes <laughs> with 30 79 feminism is synonymous i'm i'm more feminist than she is by the way 
Uh, I'm not like him. He was saying Tony is now feminist. Tony is now feminist. So, yeah, we are feminists. We need more feminist men, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fem 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 is. Feminism is simply uh, you should be feminist if you want to get the most love from women. How about that? Come on now. See, okay. Okay. That's so, that's keep, keep it simple, don't complicate that's your not. life now. You know what is wrong with women being liberated? I don't understand Thank why you. people are fighting. Thank you. We're here to stay. We'll, we'll be here for book, Books Rock says, When are you going to talk about sex and uh -huh. marriage? We've been talking so, about sex. We've been talking about sex. If you have a you specific question, it may be time to post it. You know. Yeah, maybe yeah, post it on the mm -hmm. story, please. So we talked about like, oral yeah. sex. Uh -huh. We talked about anal sex. Uh -huh. We talked about cleaning up uh -huh. before you be when you know it's about to go down. We talk mm -hmm. about kids affecting when you're having brand new kids it can affect uh, libidos and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We talk about kanya mata, kanya, kanya, kini, 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 kini. Kanya mata. <laughs> right. Mata. We talk about <laughs> lipsticks. Right. How it's okay to. <laughs> Not use the help of lipstick, but understand that lipstick is a tool. It's just a tool. That's all guys, it is. You guys, please give me a minute. I need to come share something, okay? I'll please, right. please. One second. Right. One we talk about that. It's just, it's just a tool. Lipstick means sex toys. That's the name my wife coined for it. We talk about Tracy's dog. Thanks, right. Tony, for hanging out. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah. All right. Tracy's so, dog. I'm gonna check that out. All I'm right. Curious. So we talked about, um, what else did we talk about? We talked about a lot, you know? Uh, Fumi says, what is, what ah, is Kaya Mata? We we'll wait, for, you need to find we'll wait for Sean to come and share that uh -uh. with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's about to go get Tracy's dog. Oh my God. <laughs> what's your name, Tino, Tino? What's your real name? The Instagram, they are knowing. I should be able to pin an angry emoji. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's your definition of feminism? My definition of feminism is to be okay with women having equal rights in society. It has oh. nothing to do with the dynamics of relationship. And uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Please. Okay, let's try to finish up, round up with this, okay? Mm -hmm. With this myth of sex toys and stuff, okay? Uh -huh. Bye. What did it do? <laughs> what did want to see? Our goons. <laughs> so. When people hear sex toys, they mm -hmm. think, oh, it's a dick. This is a, this is a vibrator. Okay. That's our lip wow. I love the petite ones. Yes. Okay. All right. That's a sex By the way, don't forget, somebody wants you to explain Kaya Mata when you're done. All over again. Sure. Mm -hmm. This is a sex toy. It's yeah. a vibrator. Oh. Why are you your, saying you bought your, something like that? You're you you rubbing, you rubbing some <laughs> egos wrongly right now. <laughs> this is uh this is called a bullet. That's the bullet. Have yeah. that in a white. <laughs> okay. That that's the bullet. I bought this one. I, I bought stuff. one for her. One day, yeah. one day I was at uh I went for a gig somewhere. I forgot somewhere in the country, and you know I put my luggage down in the hotel, and I just started here. I borrowed the luggage from her. I just started here in the box. <laughs> what is I this? Too. What? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know the ones that she has, but this one I've never seen it before. It's special. She bought it special for you now. <laughs> no, it wasn't for me, oh. She didn't know it was there. She gave me her luggage. She forgot inside. So, oh. this is a, a Tracy's dog. Oh. So, I've seen that somewhere. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do the research and you, you will thank me for life. So, okay. now, why, did, why am I sharing all of this? Okay. Mm -hmm. When we get the idea of, and we talk about sex toys. Mm -hmm. Our rise African Niger men, they already have this idea that we're talking of dicks, 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 dicks. And that's where it's mm -hmm. like, like, don't call me fool. Ah. Exactly. That's where the ego comes into play. This yes. cannot compete with the real thing now. I mean, how can you compare this to the size of your dick now? You know what I so there's no competition. It's just that what it does, you know, which we cannot expect that you guys can keep up with it. It's a mm -hmm. vibrator. It just adds more people are laughing. <laughs> Spice it up. But that's 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 the that's the evidence of lack of sex education. Yes. Right. Uh keep in mind that sex education cannot be stagnant. You can't keep it in time. If you exactly. learn sex education in nineteen sixty two, it's right. obsolete. Exactly. Or oh, last no. year, 2019, it's obsolete. Keep I, love, I love both of you, man. And you guys, <laughs> to, you guys need to keep this because it's good to have couples 
who are on the same page and who are sharing this so that another couple listening can understand that, okay, this makes sense. Because sometimes when they hear it from me, they're like, hmm, I'm in it to bad. Yeah, she's fucked. I'm going mm-hmm. to do or whatever. And honestly, it did take a while for my husband to be on the same page. And I, he, he never really got on the same page. To, wow. To think, yeah. So, but it's what it is. All right. Now explain yourself. You keep saying your husband. You have a new husband? He did not, Mosso. Ex- oh, ex in me. Okay. Well, no, he still, you know, when you're with somebody for 18 years. 18 years, a long that's time. A long time. A long time. It's a long time. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, All right. So, cool. no missionary. Missionary, why? You can do missionary, but, mm-hmm. you know, you can re- refine it. We have it. Uh, spice it up. Spice it up, you know. You know? So, so it depends, the missionary thing, it depends on, it's a frame of reference, your mindset frame of reference thing. Thank you. If, if you do other styles so much, your wife starts asking for missionary, mm. you are doing well. You are doing well, bad, bad, <laughs> Okay. If you are doing missionary so much and your wife is bored, you are not doing well. Fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, somebody said varieties earlier. That's one of the six basic needs of human beings. Right. Human beings. Yes. Varieties. So the issue is not missionary. Don't worry yourself about missionary. But you need varieties. Okay? Yeah. And I don't mean varieties of human beings because that's a very dangerous <laughs> lifestyle. Can you about that, your question, though? <laughs> <laughs> I had to break my like, ah. Uh-huh. I had to rust out that very good. No, you can break penis anywhere. I had with any careful. position, yeah. With any wow. position. Wow. You got to be mm-hmm. careful. You just you have to be careful. And that's why you have to be lubricated. We keep mm. saying you gotta be lubricated. Mm. Um, you know, if you're not lubricated, you stand the chance of hurting the penis and we can't afford that. Yeah. Mm. We, need, we need our dicks working, you know. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, if you if you end if you've ever hung out in the emergency room long enough, you've seen them coming. Yeah. It's not yeah. it's not it's not good. Mm. It's not good. It's gonna be careful for, real? for sure. <laughs> And as a woman, somebody mentioned being flexible. If you're on top as a woman, honestly, we get a lot of complaints about this. And I mean, mm-hmm. we have African women. African women, we take a lot of pride in we can shake our bum bum. But when it's time to actually shake your take it your, on top, your waist and be well, yeah, and do the thing, you guys they just stay there. You mm-hmm. gotta be flexible. You gotta people. There was something that was going around last year about coconut spelling coconut when you're on the top. Mm-hmm. It's actually true. You gotta be able to move Ooh. your Exactly, you know. <laughs> My life. <laughs> I can't. I am a born again Christian. <laughs> you were saying it, and I was literally. If you can spell coconut, then you are doing a good job. You know. Wow. Spell exactly. coconut. Yes, yes so baby. On yes, top. Please. If I can coconut, spell coconut, yeah. Wow. Woo. <laughs> Prince, Prince says. I, I still that. say too, there are ways you need to touch your woman and you don't need all this toy, Jerry. Because if she get Free. let me let me let me let me help a little bit. Let me help a little bit. I love I love helping with this with this uh alumokoro yi type of way trying to like gotcha, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the deal with this. It doesn't matter what you want or what you say. If your wife is okay with you just touching her the way you like it and she's good. You know, there's you don't, no, need, anything. There's, you don't yeah. need anything, you know. What we're saying, if, if your wife says, don't go inside the box and be throwing it away. Hmm. If you do that, you will not get none. Yep. After a while, that's the point yep. we're yep. making. It's not about you, it's about giving. If that person is open to that, yeah. find it in yourself. Right. Remember the definition of giving and give that to her. And then right. she will not even want, you know what you do with children? You give like my baby here, my baby girl. You give her something. She doesn't want it anymore. She wants yeah. the other one. Mm-hmm. So if you, but if you take it away from her, she wants that one that you took away. So yes. if you're now stubborn about uh, 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 sex toy, sex toy, she can't have it. Now she wants it. Exactly. Don't miss the point, my brother. Yeah. And this is what I also want to add, you know, and, and I think we talked about it. When we talk about circum- female circumcision, mm. um, it did a lot of damage to women sexually. And there's some people that no matter how much you touch them, they will never, ever get any stimulation. Wow. Uh, the, the vibrators are a little bit more intense. 
and they can actually give her more sensation See? so yes that's why that helps. helps and that's why it gives her because honestly you'd be surprised a lot of women fake it for you guys mm -hmm. they're actually not actually feeling anything but they mm -hmm. want to make you guys feel okay Happy. so yeah. if you really i'm telling you you can just Let's go. Let's go. and use it to try mm -hmm. um and see for yourself that you're going to see a whole new side to your woman yes. and again it's not a competition it's not a competition it's not. Let's just get it in there the, yeah. the, the oh role of it is let me even go let me even go this far with that competition thing you know yes. um like my brother here says if your wife has one tyrone that is giving her bass books now you're gonna know <laughs> <laughs> Better go ask her and learn. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let, me, let me let me be clear about let me get it. about this competition thing. It needs to go even as far as if you know that your wife is mentioning somebody you know she she she's is a crush. Yeah. Don't be butt hurt about things like that. I'm going that far. Because right. the more butt hurt about things like that, it's not even about that topic now. It's about other issues. You're insecure. It's one of the low, it's one of the highest signs, okay, mm -hmm. of low attraction. Basically, yeah. it's one of the it's one of the causes of low attraction in marriages. Yes. Insecurity in men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you if you if you say ah, why are you comp if you get defensive, why are you comparing me to somebody? They didn't say compare, or they didn't say go and check out how this person did it, but you sensed it. 2,000 miles before she actually said it. Yeah. Insecurity will destroy attraction in your marriage. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so it's not just about sex toys. I'm talking about in every aspect. Like, she wants toy? Yeah, Say, yeah, yeah sure, babe. Right. <laughs> Bring it on. Let's 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 get it on. Let's try. Don't get butt hurt about that. Like, when you tell me, oh, you can talk to me, like, I can see through that, that you're... You, maybe not you, Prince, but a lot of men that say things like that, they are, they are being defensive. They have been defensive ahead of time and saying, uh, you know, we, what do you need that for? When you use the term, what do you need that for? That's a turn off already. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so, um, Sister Shell, some have dryness issues. Yes. Let's talk about the yeah, yeah, yeah. again because I think some people. Yeah, um, know, of course, dryness them. issues. Uh, the body naturally should be able to produce a wetness, the desired wetness for a woman. Um, but then it also needs a lot of uh, help. Uh, and, um, you know, you need to be able to turn your woman on enough for her to drip. If everything is natural and you're doing the right thing, the right amount of foreplay and everything, by the time you go down there, you can already see how wet she gets. Yes. But unfortunately, if some things, those things are not in place, they're not healthy, and um, her, she has hormonal issues, there's some issues also that can cause dryness, you can get help. We've talked about KY jelly, which is easily accessible. We've talked about Kayamata. Kayamata has several, uh, which are natural uh, herbs or, you know, products that help you get lubricated. One important thing that I also wanted to mention, there are some, um, uh, there's a name now, there are some uh, supplements that help a woman, uh, natural supplements that help a woman that we can take over the counter. Uh, there are women's supplements, I forget the name right now. But so what about has, side effects? No side effects. They're so oh. heavy. Like they're the natural supplements that help a woman. It keeps our natural flora down. Oh. So a woman oh. has to take that all the time. When you take that, you're naturally healthy. You're so okay. so is Kayamata is Kayamata organic? Kayamata is organic. It's natural. So somebody asked it's earlier, natural. is this some kind of magical potion? It's you will be scared about potion. something. <laughs> it's not a magical potion. Kayamata is natural products that they make made into stuff silky cola is the seed of a plant mm. that works and help it's very if you chew the silky cola it's very slimy mm. and then of course it translates to you man you get extra extra juice mm. okay <laughs> Use it. Use it. I'm lying. they're all natural <laughs> supplements now this is where you get to be careful and this is why i said it with every good thing people come in and infect you with the bad things when they start telling you come and cook some chicken and pour something tell them you don't want that because yeah. now this time my tell tellers now will tell you they can cook some chicken that right. will be over, not they, they are bastardizing it everywhere yeah now they are beginning to um yeah how do you deal with the man's sexual appetite well i did well i do okay <laughs> five days in a week Oh, that is oh okay. I only did you. Ah, 
Five days ah. a week is a lot. That's a lot. Five yeah, days a week a is a lot. It's a lot, too. Says who? Think, eh? I'm just asking See, for a nobody's friend. Nobody's counting, right? I'll, I'll get counting. the name of the natural supplement. Uh, I forget it now. I have it on top of my head. Nobody's counting quite all right. But like I said, you know, we're adults. We are we have other things now. We have, things, we we have things going on. Uh -huh. Wait, and let me ask a question, please. Mm -hmm. Is 30 a man or a woman? I think 30 is a man. Okay, and he's saying she on a lot. How do you deal with a man uh, with a lot? Okay, he has large appetite five days in a week before they start calling you Nympho. And so women calling a man Nympho and Seiko? They can. They can call him Nympho. Especially when a woman, the woman is not on the same level with you. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, right. she can. She can run away from home and she can chase her away from home. This is why, where honestly, uh, uh, compromise comes into play. You see, there are some sensitive topics we don't want to yes. talk about. This is where the man, you might need to come, learn to come off on your own, jerk off on your own. <laughs> Do that in the shower. You know, Seriously. our pastor, I know what I mean. One name, I saw the of that. Oh, no, you cannot. I can't yes. stop. <laughs> it's pressure. It's pressure. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I see. Yes, ma. Time, ma. Thank you. Yeah, my wife, no. yeah, thank you, ma, for joining. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is where you guys have to be able to compromise. And when you know you have a large sexual appetite, and you might need to find ways around it. Your wife needs to work with you sometimes. Sometimes she might not feel like actually having sex. She might just give you a quick blow job and make you come, or the right. hand job and make you come. You know, we need to communicate and work together. A right. nice hand but job. It's unfair to push your large sexual appetite and now use it as a fault to her and say mm -hmm. she's not keeping up. It might be unfair to ask her to keep up with five days a week. Mm -hmm. Especially when she has other things going on. That's right. All right. There are two. There are two. Two questions I want us to address. Actually, I don't think two. Two or three times a week is okay, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Every other. That's day. what she said. As far as I'm concerned, in my own head, I think I can do three times a, a day. But <laughs> I know I don't have enough time in real life. But we do what we can deal with. <laughs> uh -uh. My my real answer. <laughs> My real answer to that, Certi, is that I, I'm not judging you. I don't know you personally, mm -hmm. but there's a good chance that, um, l listen, if you're a busy man, <laughs> you're probably not asking for five sex in a week. You know, you're probably not. But even if you're asking for that, let me just say this. Uh, you know, be excited about the chase. Make it your job to make her want to give you sex five times a week. That's the goal now. You Thank can go you, after sir. that. Seduction. I mentioned seduction earlier. Okay. Do everything you can do to learn everything you can learn about seduction, and that should solve your problem. The chase enough will satisfy that five times a week that you're looking for. And um, maybe it now becomes twice in uh, every two, three days. Maybe then yeah. you'll be happy. Just looking forward to it is actually five, much five more... Times a week. Looking forward yeah. to it sometimes is much more like exciting than the sex itself, you know? Right. Right. Um, yeah, the question that uh, somebody posted about men bringing sex, so, so, but I, but I, Prince, in this, <laughs> <laughs> they said, <laughs> they, they said they can bring um, sex oh toy into God. the bedroom too. Can yes. women handle that? Yes, oh, I yes. can. I love Do, that. Are you sure? Do you yes. know what sex toy look like? Look like uh, a uh, no, you run me, John. Sex doll. See, 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 see. Now we're going somewhere else now. <laughs> a sex doll. Listen. Not listen. the doll. It's the doll. The doll. That's, that's what they're talking about. No. Oh. What else would you it know, be? Yeah, it's not by the other one. Oh, no. I like the ring. No, but I please not want that one. Trust me. That's it's not about sex doll. They're talking, like, they're talking about the sex dolls. Which, oh. you know, that's a little extreme right there. Yeah, it is. But there, there are sex toys that you can use as a couple for the man. Yeah. For the man, yes. Actually, sex toys you can use. They have the cup ring. Yeah. Right. You know, the, ring the ring is, the ring is popular. It's all about education. You yeah. Know? It's all about education. So just educate and communicate amongst us. So there are sex toys for men. Yes. And it's, more, it's very stimulating. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, they, somebody says hmm, they chase. They have, uh, uh, no, somebody says sometimes um, okay. some people are into porn and they, and they can develop unusual sex drive. Uh, while you're right, I think people use a lot of these statements again as cover up. Listen, if your spouse is excited about wanting to have sex, I'm not doubting that people can be addicted, addicted to sex. To that's, that's not what I'm yeah. saying. But I'm saying you Uncle should first of all. to get you in the office. We need to get Uncle Seti. Uncle Seti works remote. Ooh, so we need to I work Uncle remote Seti. too. Oh, I work right? remote too. There's, yes. there's zero time. 
There's okay. zero time. I because have to... they demand a lot, right, from you? Yeah, even more, you know, but we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so some people are into a porn and they can develop a usual sex drive. I, I think it's really more of an excuse more than anything. If yeah. you haven't really been engaged fully, 100% in that sex drive with your spouse, then you don't really have the right to say they are. If you know that your sex drive is just lower, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I see a lot of people will say, oh, it's, it's just addicted to sex. There are people that use that to get out of a marriage and that's yeah. actually not the real issue. So mm -hmm. be careful, seek a professional and talk to someone. Make sure you're not just throwing words around and, and phrases around. Um, sex drive is really a, spouse, um, a couple by couple situation too. It's, it's different from people to people too. Yeah. So make sure you talk to someone if it's if this conversation is probably not it's not good enough. You know, just talk yeah. to a professional. You know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ola, what if you work remotely? I swear, sex is the only exciting thing. Uh, well, you know the work. What else? Are you are you working? <laughs> <laughs> if you're working, eh? <laughs> if you're working, let's make sure you're working first. I mean, I was <laughs> working at home to me means I am addicted to work and I find myself working 16 hours and yes. I hurt my back it's and I have to and I have to basically check myself and I say I leave the office when it's time. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know? yes. So yes. so that also means, you know, there's only so much energy for sex, bro. But you know, maybe maybe you should talk to someone, you know. Moya, well, yeah, we're gonna be rounding up, man. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about role play. Role play. Whatever. We are. Let's talk about role play. Role play. Ah. Role play. Ah. Role play. <laughs> um, uh, role play. Now, role play. I can use some lessons on that. I've never needed to do it, but I could. I could. You know. I well, could, maybe, of, maybe we can have it. It's all part of excitement. Now. It's all part of bringing excitement into the room, and you know, I'm sure there will come a point where you guys want to try new things. You know? I've seen people all, on TV I, dress I, I up. Think I heard I heard Lola say she likes uniform men. Dress up as a police. You like uniform men? A police officer. You do? I didn't know that part though. She said that. She, she agreed with me now. What are you talking about? I agreed about? with her. Oh, she agreed she with she you. She agreed with me. Oh, okay. Because I'm about to say. And I read her language. No. <laughs> In 14 years, I missed that part. See, that's why I have to keep listening. I have to keep listening. So you you can dress up as a police officer. You can arrest her. You know, take a, a handcuff with. Uh, they can't handle handcuffs. I'm, 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 I'm suggested to tie out a few times. I would. I would handcuff him. Okay. Uh, you know, you don't even have to use the handcuffs. Sit her down on the chair. Put her hands. Put her hands on the beside you and tell her you cannot move. You no, when I put her hands her. behind her, sometimes she likes that. When I just okay, my you say yeah. like that. Correct. <laughs> you know, and just arrest her and say, you know what, you're under arrest, you cannot move until oh I'm done God. with my inter with my preaching and all of that stuff, you know. So yeah, role play I think I've not tried it. You haven't. But you have not. But it's wow. something that I do advocate. I think it's a great thing to do. Okay. You know, right. I think it's a great thing to do. Just I mean, be safe with it. Okay. I mean that goes to tell you that there's so much more that you can do than than complaining. There's so much more mm. than you can do than say it's the end of the world, you know. Right. This Somebody's is why. Going somewhere. Somebody's going Let's somewhere. Let's see you. This is why a few folk committed to each other while dating should <laughs> fuck before trying to oh. not to know oh. exactly oh, how to yeah. sex it. I'm Maybe sorry. Nobody oh, judge me. Oh, Lord. I'm with you. Bro. You're speaking my language over here. Bro. Let's know what you're packing, okay? Oh Bro, <laughs> here's what I say about that. That's that that depends on your personal uh, uh, belief system, right? Yes. yes. Here's what I tell you: you don't have to get in the bedroom to know his size, though. Mm -hmm. You can feel Please. in the crotch area. Thank you. Grindy, oh, grindy. Grindy. So, Just find out. And, and the idea that you haven't been, if you haven't been tempted to at least kiss each other, kiss each other a few times, something is wrong. You know, if oh, <laughs> if uh yeah, let's get into a place where we almost did it. You have to be in that space. Yeah. If you haven't gotten into that space, you know, sex is such a mental thing that it will cause problem eventually if you're not you aroused to the you point will. where even if you're a virgin, that you say, you know what, I almost did it. He almost he almost yeah, it's a good thing. Yes. And you need to yes. feel that. And no mm. offense, I've had someone tell me, you know, after they got married. She found out that her husband can't even lift up. I mean, yeah. come on. You got to try and people do are that. like that. They want you and they know once you're in that marriage. Do some you're dry hopping. Ah. Hey. Do, do yeah. some dry hopping. That's one hey, job. Dry hopping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't guarantee that dry hopping will end up in the bedroom, though. 
They are going to come for us, people. I'm telling you. They are coming for us. Let them come. What? It's been real, though. Somebody said, does he know how to use it? Nobody, no, no. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. I like to be realistic when it comes to certain things, and this is one thing. Mm -hmm. Pastor Shola, for a long time, did not agree with me on sex toys, but I maintained my ground. Mm -hmm. But when Pastor Shola started to counsel more, uh, uh, you know, people, because now things are happening, more marriages yes. are breaking down. It's a problem. Now we're having oh, elders, older single people. Yes. Do you tell them to just stay and be praying? No, mm -hmm. they have to show orgies too. Please mm -hmm. let him get sex toys. So now he agrees with me. The only thing is he'll be he will not he doesn't want to be the one to say it. So yeah. that's when he brings me on to say, hey, go and get sex toys. And <laughs> you need it. So that's the thing now. So what do you advise a, a four, four year old person, you know, somebody who's aged and say, Okay, stay say a virgin to you turn forty five, forty nine. Come on now. That's totally unrealistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's what I, somebody like T Tino says, won't you test what you want? It sounds like you, your preference, yes, you should. Ah, okay, yeah. because there will be problems if you don't. Mm -hmm. However, if you're with a person that doesn't want to test nothing, then you got a problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least I will know that he can lift up. He's ready to boom. Let's know what we are getting. Just, just roll, just roll I with the punches. You guys, man. Mm -hmm. I you guys. We got, we got about. Two more minutes so oh, we can, yeah, we so we can please I beg make sure you DM us your phone number so we can make sure I'm we can coming touch. on the WhatsApp. Sorry, sis. I gotta come What, what do you guys think? In. We have to bring we have to bring Shion back, right? We have to. <laughs> There's no way we can finish this conversation. It's impossible. We can't. We we'll take it to Facebook though. Let's take it to Facebook. I want I want the Facebook family to know you guys. You guys are spectacular. Aww. That's the, thank you so like, much. We appreciate the you too. Is, is fire, man. I we love appreciate it. you. Thank you I love so it. much. Let's, let's keep it going. The, thank, thank you so much. We have we have deeper conversations to have. Like, yes. Let, yes. let me go deep. Deep. <laughs> 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 all right yeah definitely we'll Amazing. schedule another one we have to come back we'll do it properly and then we'll take it to facebook and youtube uh thank yes. you guys so much for hanging out thank you so much sister thank, thank you so you, much thank you thank you for having me thank you everybody you guys are awesome thank Love you so much thank you guys thank you everybody thank you <laughs> we'll talk soon please don't forget to share this on your story guys oh uh, no no yeah. this is going on youtube it's going to be uploaded there too i'll share with okay. you okay you guys yeah. are fantastic thank all right thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.